isn't a regular episode of the PokerCast. What happened was we attempted to do a companion stream to the main event final table, and we ran into a ton of technical difficulties. You'll hear about them on the show. So we decided to record our analysis of most of the hands, as well as banter about the players, commercials, their patches, fashion, etc. It doesn't have the production value of our regular shows, but we figured it was better than nothing. And we hope you enjoy it anyways. So here you go. What's up, everybody? It's PokerCast crew, chilling at Miles, watching a little World Series poker. We tried to do this live, Adam, but uh, the internet gods don't like us enough. Well, the Canadian television yeah, gods that's are, probably, are the problem. That's probably accurate. So over here in, in Canada, we've got, we've got the sports network, TSN. We've got TSN 2, TSN 3. TSN four Keep and going. TSN five. Yeah. <laughs> um, no five TSN different channels. El Ocho, but yes, the well, it's it's Canada, so we have TSN Sank um, <laughs> and Cats. But so we cannot. TSN in their infinite wisdom has decided not to show any the World Series coverage on any of their five channels. Instead, the NFL football game is on like several three channels. Of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're well, trying to watch World Series going on too. That's World, not on, the, that's the, not on the, TSN though. Is it not? That's on Sportsnet. Oh. So basically, everybody in Canada wants to watch the World Series final table, has to do it on stream. And so, obviously, we're doing that. We're streaming it from my computer to my TV set. That part is working brilliantly. But then when we tried to go live on Twitch or YouTube, that was not... That was There was Kremens to too much stuff into the inner tubes. Um, <laughs> so we're in here. We're down to eight, eight-handed now, right? We lost up. I didn't see uh, what happened. Did you watch... The bust out of one Fernando Pons. I didn't. I think it was an all-in preflop. Right? It was Ace Six off versus King Jack off. Okay. To uh, Cliff Joseph, he tanked for like a minute before he called with the King Jack. I don't know exactly how much spiked. Fernando had, but yeah. yeah, he spiked a King on the flop and a King on the river. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna watch uh, and talk about some of the hands that pop up, right? Yeah. So. Blinds right now are 300, 600,000 with 100k ante. So if you're watching, if you've got this on the old DVR, um, it's right now it's 7.15 p.m. Pacific time. And of course we're on a, you know, a 30 minute delay. So 7.15 Pacific, 10.15 Eastern is where you are. Uh, we are currently on a hand where uh, Vio's on the button with King back off. We've had, we've had, so we've had a few all-ins and stuff like that. So uh, I can Vio's just opened on hand. the button to King Jack. With King Jack, rather. And it looks like he's probably just going to win the blinds. He All does. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah. folds. That's, uh, so he opens with King Jack there. In the big blind, Wong has ten big blinds. And he has nine six off. Like, a lot of but times... But just in general, thinking, like, uh, if you're in Veo's spot, and you, it's folded to you on the button, the big blind has ten big blinds. Yeah. You're going to get shoved on a lot, right? Yeah. So well, you're snapping King Jack. No, for sure. I'm not yeah. talking about the, the hand he actually sure, had. Sure. I'm talking about his range, his ranging raise and arrows a little bit. Um, I, for me, I think you're probably thinking about, you know, if it folds to you and you're playing super deep, it, your, your maybe, range is pretty wide. Maybe, yeah, because I understand, like, you don't want to be getting in flip situations and stuff like that. Um, so an interesting thing, about 20 minutes ago, so it wouldn't have made, these guys wouldn't have seen it yet. Um, who was it that opened with aces? It was Wen, yeah. who had aces. And uh, he opened late, and Wong elected not to shove with the King Jack offsuit, which was really surprising to both of us. Because uh, he had thought it was going to be like 12 or 13 big blinds. Auto. Sorry, yeah, sure. I wasn't sure about the positions there. Um, but once that hand makes it to TV uh, right. for everybody else, and like they're. Ne- well, actually, it's made it to TV now, so now that they have the information, that's going to affect like future hands going forward. Right, mm-hmm. right. That was hand 37. If anybody wants to. Right this is 38 then. <laughs> I'm surprised DSPN doesn't have, you know, maybe in the pot they could have a 38 there or something. Yeah. The funny thing is you'd have to go to, like, uh, the WSOP.com coverage for that. And, um, yeah. You want to shift over here? No, I'm all good. Um, yeah, if you go to the ESPN, or excuse me, the WorldSeries.com, you'll actually be spoilered. And we might be down to, like, six-handed by now. So they're, just, so they're actually stopping at six-handed for the end of the night. Yeah. So we're, we've got the three-day final label, which I think is the first time we've done that, right? It's been down to three-handed before, and then yeah, yeah, two, no, right? but what they're doing today is they're playing from nine to six, and then six, and to then tomorrow they'll play up. from six to heads up, and then they'll play from heads up right. to the finish, which I think is way better for the players. 
Um, I think so. We got an all in here, so. So folded to Kenny Hollard on the button with King 10 off. He opened, and Wong shoved his 10 big blinds with Ace 3 off into this yeah, small so it's blind. A clear and shove. Or big I blind. Think, yeah, and then Kenny's calling. Clearly. Kenny's calling, yeah. Um, so, I mean, this is exactly what you were talking about basically two seconds ago was like. Big blind might shove wide, so but but of course, like Kenny's not gonna fold open fold king come on the button, so what are you gonna do? He's clearly clearly yeah. priced in the call yeah. here. So got a little inner tubes lag going now on. Now we got the so, lag going on. Yeah. This one's definitely not our fault. This one's TSN, so screw TSN. <laughs> I think this is pretty standard. Oh yeah, for sure. I think it's clearly well played from both sides, and then if you're any of the short stacks right now, you're just really happy and you're hoping for a 10 or 10. So you guys did the interview with, uh, with, with Kenny Allard. Yeah. You said, you're, you said you were fans. Totally enjoyed it. Yeah, really nice guy and uh, you know, definitely made me cheer for him when, uh, when we were watching this. He was articulate and happy to, to talk as long as we wanted. It was quite nice. Is he, is he a pro or does he have a day job? He has a day job. He talked about it. He uh, is a tournament director in a couple of places in Europe. So I keep oh, I'm loving the Wong heads. Did you see that? They, yeah, they the Wong just, heads are great. They, the guy's got like uh, Wong. What's his first name? I forget. Uh, Jerry? No, no. <laughs> that would be Jerry Way. Yeah, it'd be Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, flop they're... seven, deuce, deuce. The ace three faded. The king ten. That's a flop. very good flop for That's the old ace flop. three. Does have backdoor hearts? Yeah. Wong blocks one at least. Jerry, um, it is Jerry Wong. It is Jerry Wong. Yeah, I'm just. I was going to pull up the old Kev Math article about the uh, yeah the Kev Math preview article. Shouts to Kev Math for always doing the thing. Six on the turn, faded the turn. King ten tw- is fourteen like percent. Looking like a double up so far, but I mean, gross things tend to happen at the stage. Yeah, this is twenty one big blinds or something like that, isn't it? The funny thing is, if Wong hits wins this, so the pot's twelve point four million. He was only two point up two million from when he started, which goes to show like it sucks being blinded off as a short stack. Right. He started the day with ten million, so he fades. Fades it. Uh, ace high holds. He's gonna double up to twelve and a half million. Oh, so he's got eighteen big blinds or something. Still, yeah. that's healthy. I mean, he's fine. He's yeah. happy. He's just happy not to. I mean, just being in the tournament, ICM wise, is just so important right now. Because right. somebody else could just run into, right. like, Wynn could just cool. pick up aces and king, against king, somebody's king and bust somebody George and Johnny Dax could do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, that, that would be pretty disgusting. But, like, they, so could so they Griffin, get 100 big blinds in with aces and kings? Oh, yeah. I, I guess they wouldn't be happy about it, but, yeah. But uh, Griffin is also, like... He's getting short. So, yeah, Griffin is the guy who was definitely cheering for a long, uh, playing bust out there. Yep. Griffin, the diehard's Blue Jays, Blue Jays fan. He is. is he rocking Blue Jays gear? I didn't see. Him. Oh yeah, he was it. rocking in Blue Jays, Blue Jays gear. I think every every episode. No, he was doing it in June, which was uh, which definitely. His dog is named Olrude. That's all you need to know. Oh. <laughs> we were out in Toronto with him. Uh, he brought his dog out. Yeah. Yeah. Dog oh. So this is what regular TV looks like. We're watching commercials for compression shorts or compression tights. Breasts and socks. Yeah. Compression socks. Yeah. Like I haven't. When's the last time? I, I guess you watch more sports, live sports, than I do, but, like... I've never seen this ad. Regular television is just the nut low. <laughs> just the absolute nut low. I saw... <laughs> so it's during the ads, we're going to have totally offside conversation. But uh, I saw it during... Um, I was... Okay, two things. I was in the pharmacy, and I saw, like, diabetic socks. Oh, yeah, sure. What are those two? Is that a thing? Yeah, because, like, diabetics have really poor circulation in, like, their, um, their, their feet. And stuff like that. So it helps basically like stop the pooling of the blood. But it's also really good to keep them warm. Or? No, 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 no. Just to like circulate the blood, so you get like a blood clot and die. But how does they? How does it work? How are they different than normal socks? They're very, very they're very, very tight, basically. Oh, okay. And so like you know, it flushes stuff like that. I don't know about the exact mechanism. They're good for planes too. Oh. Um, if you if you're like on like a 15 hour flight, like I will actually wear compression socks or compression leggings sometimes on like a 15 hour flight or oh. something like that. That's a good idea. You want to get a blood clot and die. And then uh, I was watching eSports. My roommate's really into it. And uh, 
and they're advertising this Soylent thing. Have you heard of Soylent? Oh, yeah, I know Soylent. Yeah, that's, I that's hadn't basically... even seen it for the it's first It's just time. a food substitute. Like, this guy you just in his laboratory. Food out of yeah, like, this guy in the laboratory was like... He just, like, you know, you know how you're supposed to have, like, so many milligrams of vitamin A and so many milligrams of vitamin B6. If you told. So he basically just measured those all out in a lab and got, like, the laboratory grade. And then, like, he just mashed them into a liquid. <laughs> like, so that you get, like, 100% of everything in there. Have you ever that drank one? Like, no. But, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But it's still, like... It's, I'm still kind of a fan of food. Yeah. Um, you gotta have the... the it's funny how... There you <laughs> this is hilarious. Guy. That, oh my oh, god. I love this guy. These little player graphics are great. <laughs> That's great. So it's like, dab, dab. Video dab. Oh, I was hoping he dab. Everybody dabs. I don't know what, what's dab. Oh, doing this, this thing. thing. I'm like, trying to get my kid to stuff. It's like this. You're so smelling your armpit? What, do, what are you doing there? Yeah, they go down like this. Why, it why is that from, a thing? Uh, it was it's a dance move that originated... And Cam Newton did it. In Miami. It caught on with all the athletes. Now everybody does it. Oh, God. That's that's atrocious. If you ever watch live sports, if they ever cut to the crowd, somebody will go like this. That is... So you're basically smelling your armpits. That's, I mean... It's so bad. Your elbows? It's silly. You're smelling your elbows? It's just silly. All right. Ruan. You know what I've noticed? I mean, we've only been watching for like five or six hands. Everybody's playing really fast. Which I'm. There's no tanking. There, there's no tanking. Like Michael Rowan just like picked up King Jack and just like fired chips in the pot. Kenny Allert picks up two sixes. Flat. Just call it just flats. Like that was like we're watching in real time and this is awesome. it took Kenny Allert like three seconds to call there. It's like he's playing a cash game right now. Yeah, if uh, was <laughs> if Mister. Kasuf would have made the final table. I think this might. No, this is, a we're not talking about Kasuf today, right? He's not on the show. I think he did not make the final line. Wojtek thinking about calling with the suited garbage. Squeezing, maybe? Some people really like suited garbage in the big line. Just because it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's, it's like, well, I've got two live cards. I mean, yeah. It just <laughs> gets you in so much. Look at that! Oh, he would have flopped three times. <laughs> Kenny Allard folds the 10-3 the of clubs after an open and a flat. I was just talking about he's thinking about calling with 10-3 clubs. It comes queen 10-10. So, interesting flop, though. Ruan with the uh, open-ender. And Hallert with two sixes on the Queen Ten Ten board. Yeah, Ryan with King Jack. It's a like, tough spot for Hallert because that board. I think he just folds. Like I think if Ruan C bets, I think I think Hallert just folds. Like because this is the, like you don't want to be messing around when when flops come in this range against the preflop aggressor. Like even though your range kind of hits this as well as the guy who flats, like you're kind of at the stone bottom of your. Is range. raising I mean, better than folding? Or sorry, raising better than calling? Like, there's so many times where you will have caught a piece of this flop that I don't think you have to try to rep it. Can when we talk you talk about the Jerry curls that Rowan has going there? Holy yeah, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got creative with the styling. <laughs> it might just be natural. So yeah, I just think like he has a queen and he has himself like an open ender and he has a ten, you know, and he has things like even like ace jack like he has enough of like continuation hands that he doesn't need to be putting in more money with sixes but uh, he's gonna call turns a queen <laughs> completely counterfeiting Kenny so Kenny now is six high I mean we're all one doesn't like that card either like right but like I mean so this is I so mean, I mean what do you do here you get flat so like, again you raise with king jack you get flatted pre. You, it comes you, queen ten ten. You. I mean, you I think continuation bed might check and give you up. You get here. called. A queen rolls off. Now what do you? I mean, obviously, if he knew what Kenny had, he would just leave. But I mean, I think you, you check, check and give up. I think I think run like I think the correct spot here most of the time is the check fold. I think Kenny knows that if he bets here and he gets called, he has to barrel again. So he has to think of he has to really think long and hard about betting here because he has to barrel again. If right. He, yeah, so yeah, so I think he check, check. check should. It was check check, but I think Kenny will bet the river if it's checked to him because he has six high. Yeah, this is this is an interesting one. Because, river breaks off because this is one of these pots where like both guys hate their hate their hands, right? Like they're both expecting to lose right now. It's so Ron checks again on the river. Ken, Kenny, Kenny really has no choice. Should probably bet. I think. I mean, maybe it's too many bluffs if you just bluff all your counterfeited pop eight pairs. Like, then your your ratio's really off. 
Because if you think about it, when he would bet ace high here, right? Maybe I don't know. I mean, it's not going to hold. But I mean, ace high is not going to get called by king high, right? How often is ace high get called by king high? Looks like he's going to bet, and I think there's a decent chance he wins here. I mean, you're saying that Kenny should bet ace high, and if and that sort of implies that Ruan should call with king high. Antonio doesn't like the sizing, so we can hear kind of Antonio saying that he has to bet more. So he bet three point six into what well, was eight point one, less than half. Yeah. What's he doing that with? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I almost think that you might be right. Like he's trying to represent almost ace. High. Oh, he calls. He got called with king high. Wow. Yeah. That's an interesting hand right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I don't. I wonder actually if Kenny has to bluff all of his pairs because that probably means his bluff ratio is like way too high. So maybe you only bluff there if you have like deuces and threes and something like that. Yeah. Because the the problem is that Kenny can't have that many value betting hands if he's not betting ace high. Like he can really right. only have a queen and a ten quads and like pocket jacks or something like that. Maybe, but he probably doesn't really have that either. Yeah, quads, flop quad ten. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so there's not really many combos that he can have. So that just means he can't bluff that many times either. Yeah, I felt like the flop was the place. A flop return. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm playing this fourth main event. Made a straight flush in day seven in a huge pot. Was this? Is this bullet point? Has a large rail from Maywood, New Jersey. It seemed like the set was bigger in the last, in previous years. Didn't it go back sort of 10, 15 rows um, right I from the rail? I was there last year, so unless they changed, you know, I was, changed, I was there this year, so unless they changed it from July to now. Yeah, it does look like the audience is like really close. It's but only it like, could just be yeah, a perspective thing. Maybe. Um, what happened? Was Rizic oh. just limped in with 10-5? What's happening? Is this folded to the, had five? to be folded to the small blind. Okay. Rizic limped with 10-5 off. Wow. Uh, yeah, Queens. it's probably just a spot where you just give just it. fold it. Yeah, you just you just give him a lock, especially against a chip leader who's probably going to raise you an awful lot as he does right now. But Queen. now he's just going to fold. Queen so has fine. the queen nine of clubs. Yeah, just just snap raise. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's one of these interesting things where I don't know if there's a consensus among the best players in the world about how often you should limp in the small blind right. when there's antis. Because that's a really important thing, right? Like, you're getting a huge immediate price if the big blind doesn't raise you often enough. Like, you should limp everything if the big blind doesn't right. raise you often enough. All right, so we we just watched Kenny Heller fold, fold fives. Um, yeah, but we were the, the stream was screwed up, so we couldn't see if it was an open fold or there's no way three bit fold. I think he's got it. Yeah, he must have opened and folded. Um, Case in a Kenny's lot of active. pots. I mean, it's not his fault. He's just opening nine eight on the button here. Wong has a shoving hand, so I think he's. Is I think he's a small one. Is that right? He's got twenty five bigs though. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah, you're right. So he's definitely got like a. Yeah, he's definitely got a shoving hand when he was shorter. He's actually got Griffin covered now. He's a second shorter stack. So flatting here is pretty reasonable. It's folded to Hallard on the button, opens with 9 8 off. Pretty standard, I guess. Yeah. Wong and, and, and the small And Kenny's line. lost a bunch of pots recently, so, like, I don't Wong know how to place yeah. things, like whether he thinks he might be steaming or whatever. Looks like he's getting rearing. He's getting a 3 bet. Wong yeah. 3 bets with A7 of hearts in the small blind. So, my only problem with this is if Kenny were to shove on him, which now he's would, not yeah. going to. Right. Oh, he's pot committed himself. He actually made it really big. He made it 7.6 million over wow, the top. That's a giant raise. Yeah. So like he with that sizing, he would actually have to call because he'd be priced in if yeah. Kenny if Kenny Farah jumped on him. So I don't like that sizing. No. Um, but I guess he wanted to to make it look like he got committed. So in that sense, maybe. All right. Taking a break. Sounds like they're going on a break. Back in time for a break. All right. We'll take a break too. <laughs> Sharkscope can now add free money to your bankroll, and all you have to do is be an overachiever. Sharkscope.com has a fun tab on every graph that says achievements. They're very attainable goals, like won a tournament of more than $100 or played 100 tournaments in a month. Sounds fun, right? Well, now with our partner, PKR, you can earn money for those achievements. Simply play on PKR, turn over the achievement cards, rack up points, 
and win your share of 2,000 euros. Also, you'll be entered into our 1,500 euro free roll just for getting five points. See all the details on sharkscope.com and click on the Achievements Challenge in the menu. And don't forget to opt in to participate and also get in on our weekly $10,000 draw. Sharkscope.com, the best for over 10 years. Track your statistics, avoid the sharks, and find easier tournaments at sharkscope.com. Hey, PokerCast fans. Don't forget to follow me, Adam, and Ross on the old social medias. I'm at Poker on Twitter, and once in a while I'll even talk poker if I'm not trying to hit him in the face. If Adam ever gets home from hockey practice, he tweets at PokerCast Adam, and Ross is at PokerCast Ross whenever he's sweating the Chicago's. Hit us up and try to keep it to 140 or less. I mean, fewer. Hey, T-Chan here. Now that you've been listening to me and Adam give you the latest news in the poker world, it's time for you to give your two cents. So come hang out with the rest of the PokerCast nation on the forums at PokerCast.2plus2.com. There you can leave feedback about the show, give the world your hot takes on this week's stories, or just leave Roscoe your best sports betting advice. He needs the help. That's the forums at PokerCast.2plus2.com. The best part? It's available no matter how many miles you are from Kells. Okay, people. Most of the kittens have perished. There are a few left you can save, though, and here's how to do it. Get involved with the PokerCast by emailing your questions, suggestions for the show, or even record a sound clip. Adam will be using the best ones on the air. Well, let's face it, probably the worst ones as well. I can see you there at your computer. Send an email right now. Totally disagree with one of Adam's takes last week? Send an email. Love last week's interview? Email. Want to know how much cash Adam has on him right now? Email. PokerCast at 2plus2.com is the address. Ship the funny to Adam today. We are recording. Do we know what hand we're at? I can try and find 8 PM, out. 8 p.m. Pacific time, which means it's 8.30 in Vegas, but uh, if you're watching on the DVR, it's about 8 p.m. Oh, did you say it's, oh, it's 8.30 in Vegas because it's half an hour, right? Yeah. I thought there was some sort of half an hour. No, there's no there's time, no time difference between Vancouver and Las Vegas. Um, so we just got back from like their little... Uh, so they, the, the, the ESPN filler was Daniel and Phil help talk, talking. Where, Saying exactly the same things they say every year. Yeah, so that's fine. But And then Griffin Banger showing off figurines. That's what we got for filler. So when picking up hand after hand after hand here, he's got $80 million, uh, By far the chip leader over Joseph, he was $63 million. Uh, picks, picks up an ace jack. Ace jack off early. I, I mean, he's just trying to steal the blinds. Like, he's not really super excited about these, this hand. Did they take a break? So the last level was three hundred six hundred thousand. So this is hand number thirty eight, I believe. This is hand thirty eight. 38. So they took a break and came back to three hundred six hundred thousand. Yeah, I mean, that seems strange because I think they're just because what happened was when the final table broke in June, they were in the they would have been in the middle of a level. So when they started, they would just resume. So like, say there's seventeen minutes left in the level, they would just start with seventeen minutes and they're going to play for two hours. So they're not taking the the breaks on the level. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, big flop. Jack four four. Uh, so win raised under the gun, or, or at least early ish. And then I think Kenny Haller called him the cutoff. I want to say with King Jack. So he's spades. in position with King Jack, and so flop comes Jack four four, two clubs and a spade. So really bad for Kenny. Yeah, he's and, and he's just had like a rough last kind of half an hour too. Yeah, um, he's just been doing a lot of like bet folding and raise folding and stuff. So. Uh, hopefully. W- for his yeah. for his sake, he can minimize this. Uh, it's gonna be really hard. I mean, this is a super dry point. flop. I mean, unless it comes running clubs or something like that. I mean, a king obviously would save him. A queen would sort of slow the action. An ace would slow the action. But like, there's a lot of really bad cards for Kenny yeah. that'll just most peel of the deck is really bad. Like, like everything red and under a jack. There's two really good cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's. What, I mean, a jack is a good card too. A jack That's is what I meant. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, a no, king, I mean, jack, or four. A, a yeah. king, a king, a king is a better card, but yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, oh wow! Spikes a king on the turn. I mean, it's, wow. it's, it's not a card that like wins. Not going to bet. He's not going to lose a bunch, but it's saved. Think about yeah, how much it's, it it's saved. It's so all. huge for Kenny right here. Like, it saved him at least yeah, half his yeah. chips. King on the turn. Yeah, this is this is a huge swing for him because like, I mean, if it comes like if it just if the runout just comes like six like six of hearts, he's losing two of hearts, half the stack. Yeah, like 
like Wins just gonna go bet bet and he's gonna win. Well, it looks like he might be betting. I don't think he's going to bet. I'd be really surprised. I think he checks it. He got such a bad he, card. Is it? He can have ace king, right? He would have got three bet pre. I don't know how bad the king is. He's got to have specifically king jack. I think I'm well, betting. Why? You can just have king high clubs. Why would you bet? What's the point of betting here? You're just getting to. Kenny's just going to flat here. I think his play is very clear. Like, raising gets him no value whatsoever. Right. Unless he's specifically up against Ace King. So, uh, small bet. 2.75 million into a little bit 35% of pot, he bet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a pretty standard flat here. Really, I like, I like the sizing by Nguyen on the turn. I really like it. I like that bet. I mean, I don't know. I just think, like, Kenny has, like, two sixes and two sevens, like, a lot of the time when he just flats that flop. And so, like, he just kind of folds the turn. Rivers is off, or seven brings a flush. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this is a win. We, we, like, the, this is run out is so bad for a win right now. Yeah. He can't bet this river. Well, Antonio's saying, like, maybe make a blocker bet or something like that. When double checks his whole cards, even though it's I don't know if a blocker bets uh, if there's any point because I don't think Kenny's going to bet a ton of hands on the river. He's going to bet this hand specifically, but yeah. well, okay. So is let's, think, let's, th well, let's think about let's think about Kenny's range here. The board's Jack four four King seven. It's gone bet call bet call. Like okay. so, his range is like uh, if he's making a really kind of loose call with tens on the yeah, flop. Yeah, that's like the. Bets again. Maybe he calls with the tens again. Yeah, yeah, maybe, but I don't think so. Like, but on the top of his range, like the top of his range is, is basically uncapped. Yeah. Like, so I think I, I don't even know that Kenny is. Kenny's getting a bet ready right here. Yeah. I don't even know that this is a correct bet. Like it seems. Like it is, seven but he's point actually one. close to the bottom of his value range, considering all the stuff he could have here. Right. Like he could have a four. He doesn't have four very often. He has a lot of flushes in his range. I wonder if this is specific to to Nguyen here. If he thinks maybe you get a really loose call or something. So Nguyen's it's been interesting, right? He's been called a, a baccarat pro, that kind of thing, right? Where he's maybe he likes to gamble it up and. Does his shirt say marriage boot camp? Is it really? Look at when, okay, when, <laughs> when, 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 it pans, <laughs> when it pans back on him, it says something boot camp, and I think that word is word is marriage. I really want to see. I want to look. A patch? Yeah, there's, there's a patch on his left left part of his chest. Uh, right there, in that, the green and yellow. Please, please just close up on him one more time. So. If you're Nguyen here, I mean, this seems like a pretty quick fold. If you're Nguyen, you really, I mean... You bet it got called. You bet it got called. Well, you're called. trying to construct... Well, see, it says marriage, marriage boot camp. Boot camp. <laughs> it says marriage boot camp. Right next to that advanced poker <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it looks like he's calling. Who patched him up? I gotta Google this. Um, yeah, like, like what bluffs does Kenny have? Like, That's what I mean, yeah. Like... Okay. There, I can't even construct that many bluffs. Marriage boot camp. Like ace ten, like ace. I mean, I just have no idea. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That it, it's pretty quick fold. It seems like. <laughs> What's marriage boot camp? It, it is a reality TV show, uh, debuted on May thirty first, twenty thirteen, on was. women's entertainment television. No. Okay, what's the wow? What I was expecting. What's the over under on how much he got paid <laughs> to have a Marriage boot camp. <laughs> it might be this. I'm assuming this is. I mean, okay, I'll, it's the I'm only thing that comes here. up. Let me think about this. I think the over under on how much he got paid for that patch is. <laughs> it's hosted by Tara Reed and Jay Wow from. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Jay Wow. Five hundred. Oh, okay, I think I have the over under. You got over five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Because I I figured you got to have a lot of freeze in his range in his in his. Oh, because it's a okay. friend of. Oh, so you're well, yeah, okay. If you're talking about like the weighted average, then right? Maybe like it's like five hundred, <laughs> but I don't think it was a good over under line if we're trying to get like action on both sides. That's what I thought you were going. Theo snap folds the eight ten off or eight ten suited under the gun. Hallert folds. Wow, the graphics are 
behind here. That's the. They're RFID. not used to. Every, they're not used to everybody acting fast. That's yeah. the problem. Well, yeah, and it's like the RFID. Okay, so uh, Jerry Wong limps with King Seven on. I'm not uh, King Seven on Hearts. I feel like that must might be a production mistake, but maybe it's not. But yeah, he's he limped in the cutoff. Cut off. It looks like he did, he did because they're not correcting yet. Griffining. So, okay, Jerry limped in the cutoff with King Seven on. And Hearts. he's got like what twenty five big lines. I hate this. Right now. I can't. He's got thirty big lines. Rizichka's in the small blind with 9-10. He limps. Uh, big blind is Mr. Nguyen, who checks the 6-3 off. So he must have limped, obviously. So yeah, this is weird, gross, weird play gross, here. Gross. Like, he just wins this preflop if he raises. And with and the chips are so big for him. Yeah, yeah that's that's atrocious. I don't know what he's thinking there. Okay, so flop comes 10-4-4. Rizichka flops top pair. So Sorry, flops two pair. Goes check, check. Turns the jacket clubs, bring a Which flush. Everybody hates. Everybody basically. hates it. Flush comes. Uh, Rizichka now has was, two parry checks. He was again. going to bet, but now like jacket clubs is one of the worst cards that could have rolled off. It has got to be the worst, right? Limp, it hits limping ranges. It's yeah. just a really gross card. Yeah. Wynn's just going to bet. Wynn's just going to bomb the, with the, the six the, high. The, the old I'm the chip leader bet. And he may have to get away with this. this. Yeah. He bets half the pot. This is great. Like, if he if he two barrels it, it might look brilliant. Because Rajiska, I could see a situation where Rajiska calls the, the turn and folds, yeah, the river, folds the river. Which would be just an equity disaster. It's not only going to hold them. I mean, what can they have? They only have two cards. <laughs> they only get two cards. Yeah. I feel like you got a fold here if you, the way he played it. Yeah, it's 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 gross. It really depends on how often you think that win will will two barrel the, the with air. Like if you think you can get to showdown like a lot, and a lot of people do just bluff once. Yeah. Then and then clearly you have to call. But I mean, I think he's gonna have to fold to the river barrel. So, yeah, this is an argument for just folding now. The next hand will be number forty. What is this guy going to do if he wins all the money? Play Baccarat. <laughs> Baccarat. Buy more animal-themed hats. Yeah. Uh, so, should we do some fashion power rankings? Let's do it. Kui is by Should we start at the bottom? Like, okay, so we'll start bottom? at the bottom. Okay, bottom. Uh, the, well, the, Nets, the uh, Knicks jersey is pretty bad. I mean, the, the marriage boot camp patch on the on the jacket would I mean, be, is that a good thing or a bad hat? thing? Yeah, I mean, I Win gets like ironic, ironic by I don't think, but but it's like he's almost like every Vietnamese dude at a poker table, ever, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, yeah. like he's just got like shit that's like he's probably itching all over for the place. a smoke break real hard. Yeah, <laughs> like he's got the baseball cap which has no curve to it. And, like it's it's really up, it's really up there. Like if you were 15 years older, it would be perfect. He probably has his Louis Vuitton man purse under the table. Oh yeah, that that that's a regret. Great Under the table for sure, and he's itching for a smoke break right now. He needs to go smoke. Yeah, even though we were only been playing for like three minutes. <laughs> only one set of sun, uh, sunglasses. Uh, no, Wong's got. Oh, Wong too. has them too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jerry a- has, Asian, Asians are 100 percent sunglassed in this one. Let's go this hand. Jerry has raised in the hijack. Yeah, hijack with uh, queen jack off. Rizich got on the button has ace king of clubs. He, he is. Wow. No, he three bet. Yeah, no, he three, he three bet. bet to th- so Wong raised to one point three. Rizichka makes it three point six. Uh, fold. It's gonna probably so go it's gonna come back, but to Wong. I think he's either gonna fold or shove, right? Yeah, like if he's suited there, I mean, I think he's got a clear call. But I'm call. Um, if he's got queen jack suited. Yeah, I mean, I think shoving would be wrong. There hasn't been a lot of three bet at all. No, three. there hasn't. Uh, went three bet with the jack eight earlier, but yeah, I mean they're playing pretty close to the best, which is I think right given how deep everybody is, mm-hmm. and obviously like pay jumps affect everybody psychologically. We talked about this like a lot, um, but yeah, Kenny. Ken, it feels like Kenny's been in like every hand. Yeah, not his fault. Like I don't think he's playing super loose, but I just think it's been playing every hand. Are we getting one of these responsible gaming ads right now? Is that what's happening? Mark for Soria. Is yeah, telling us. I'm. I'm willing to bet that he's gonna he's gonna come on and tell us how we should gamble responsibly. Yes, nailed it. One eight hundred number on the screen right now. For Let's help. call it one eight hundred five two two forty seven. Let's call it. That's you want to prank call the Caesars? Like, gambling. I mean, not prank them. Just say, hey, we gamble every day. Is do we have a problem? 
Is that oh, you, you're like informationally probing. Yeah. Well, they've got the ten questions, right? Like the, have you ever? Oh, missed I aced work? those. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, have you I'm ever missed work? <laughs> it's like, no, I didn't miss work. I quit my job. So I can gamble. Did like, you look at that ten questions? Have like, you ever borrowed money to you gamble? Pull up the ten questions for, for gamble. Have, we, have you ever borrowed money bad. to gamble? Yes. I know it's one of them. It's like, have you ever? Have you ever been missed? What is it like? Sleep or something? Or oh god, yeah. Like just try that one. That I mean, yeah. Like if you. Basically, like the the problem gambling questionnaire is just the professional poker player questionnaire <laughs> revised. Okay. It really is. Okay, number one. Okay, number one. Did you fun. ever lose time from work or school due to gambling? No, I quit my job so I didn't have to have work or school so I could gamble. <laughs> Next, <laughs> absolutely missed time for you. That's Has gambling yes. ever made your home life unhappy? Yes, Definitely. I've been miserable <laughs> fuck when I lose twenty grand in a weekend back in the heyday. Of- yeah, yeah. I, have you yes. ever damaged uh, personal property? Uh, yes. <laughs> Has gambling ever affected your reputation? Oh. I mean, no, I don't, do, we, do we have any other reputation other than as gamblers? But that's not even the question we can answer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't well, yeah, I mean, when you go else. to a party, it's like, you, it, like a party with no poker players, it's like, this is my friend Adam, he gambles for a living. Have you, right. have, <laughs> go with yes. have you felt remorse after gambling? Oh, my God. <laughs> Daily basis, <laughs> of course. I might if the Cowboys score another touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowboys? The, the Dallas? Yeah. Okay, next question. Um... Uh, Come on, I'm five for five or whatever. Did Four you ever gamble easy. to get <laughs> to get money with which to pay debts or otherwise solve financial how, difficulties? How else would we pay rent? Absolutely. How else would we pay rent? Right? <laughs> Did gambling cause a decrease in your ambition or efficiency? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I so. a, a decrease in, I mean, in what? Efficiency. Yeah. What does that right. even mean? I mean, it's it, like you don't get shit done because you're sleeping all day because you gambled all night. Uh, I just, yeah. I mean, also... So while we're taking that question, these questions are terrible. By the way. Yeah. After yeah. losing, did you feel you must return oh, as soon mind. as possible to win back your losses? Yes. No, you, well, I wouldn't say that because usually I fucking hate. Like if I if I get oh, no, beat now. in a session, you don't play for weeks. But even then, like even then, like if I got buried, like once you, I'm talking about, you get buried, you quit your session. Do you, want do you really back? want to just jump back on? I'm like, no, like I, I gotta go eat something. Like yeah. once you've hit the quit session button, I might have not. Like got, maybe like the next the day, you're, you're <laughs> maybe like the next day you're like, all right, like let's time to get back. Like let's go nose to the grindstone. Let's go. So Benger open fold. Yeah. So Benger has 18 blinds open folded to threes under the gun. I, I think that's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially and he's got, he's got the worst seat in the house, right? With Wynn right yeah. behind him. He's the shortest stack, and he's got the biggest stack right behind him. Folded to the button. Mr. Wynn picks up another hand. He has the king jack off. He raises on the button to 1.525. Rouen in the small blind with the 10-7 off. Sitting on a stack of... Uh, 6 million, 30 he's big blinds? Be big 40 blind, right? big blinds? I think he's got to be in the big blind. Oh, he's got more he wouldn't blind. be calling out of the small blind with that. So yeah, he defends with 10-7. Yeah. Sorry, small, big blind. Okay, interesting flop. Comes ace, nine, six. Ruan flops a gutter. Uh, and Nguyen flops nothing. But he can represent the can ace. Represent the mean, ace. most of the time that's going to happen. Ruan checks. Norman predicting a check bet fold. Yeah, like, I mean, Ruan has the gut shot and the backdoor diamonds here. The other thing is, too, if he flats here... He represents some aces too, right? Yeah, For I later agree. in the hand. Totally. He, he represents all the pairs, basically. Yeah. I, I think he can call here. I, I think he can call. I mean, he. Thought he's got a gutter, yeah. obviously. He, he doesn't know how live his pair outs are, um, but they're going to be live some of the time, as they are, in fact, here. So he folded. He just folded. I mean, if you're going to do that, like, defending becomes a lot less. Yeah, like if you're just, just gonna just, check just, fold on a flop like that. Yeah, like you're basically saying like I'm only continuing on like my top fifteen percent of flops or something like that. So when playing the big stack quite well. Here's the wind talking about what he did all summer. Also, <laughs> subtitles on a guy who speaks English, <laughs> which is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Basically, just said he didn't do anything with poker all summer. <laughs> this guy, I, I do you love that. Do you, do you believe him? Yeah. No. You don't the think giant he medallion. I think he played. Poker. What is that? I think he played uh, Baccarat. What is that mineral or whatever he's wearing? I don't know. I can't see it. I can't see it. It's very large. And he's also got like the '70s 
Um, yeah. Sure, going on. The open. Yeah. And green, green rock. Oh, it's just jade. Yeah. Uh, Griffin thinking about opening with a seven. Oh no, no sorry. Oh, he's it's, folded. Oh, he's folded. Again, we're slower. Rizitsko with king queen of spades opens. 1.5. Wow. Wind picking up hand after hand. Right behind him has the ace, seven of clubs. He might fly here. Oh, Ooh. wow. I can't fold. I can't it believe he's folded. Weird. That and he, from the cutoff, too. against it. So, two up. Yeah, Rajisco opens from the hijack, and That's Wind just folds fold. with ace seven, of club, ace, seven of clubs. Just after we were talking about how he's being like big stack bully. Maybe he thought he was overdoing it. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, and like we know that Rajiska doesn't want to mess with Wynn at this point. Like he's third in chips. Yeah, it's almost like Wynn doesn't really have a plan. He's just kind of, yeah, you know what I mean. Making shit up as he goes. They're making it up as he goes. Hand each hand is different, and not really playing by feel. Yeah, rather than you know making good plays. Although, I mean, other than that, I haven't really seen anything that I didn't like. Here. I think mostly, like, from everything we've seen, it's been a pretty well-played final yeah, table. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, it's it's not quite like last year, I don't think. Well, it has a different table than it. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. I love it. Oh, so this is great. Like, I can actually watch poker on TV without hating myself. The graphics uh, literally can't keep up to the folding. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, hand number 43. Wow. Very next hand, he picks up ace-king off. Folded to end, he, he raises. Up. Yeah. This is insane what he's... Just a card machine. Nobody's got anything to play with so far. And the thing is, he's got the top of his range so often right. because he's the big stack. And he right. just constantly has the top I of mean, his range. He does, but I mean, he's also not really accumulating a ton of no. chips because nobody else is really making anything. Or him. sucked out on him in the case yeah. of Kenny Hollock. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, that was a, that was a significant pot too. That, that, that was like a... 15 million chip swing based on the, that run out. Again, okay, Nguyen opened with Ace King in the cutoff, folded to Kenny Hollert in the big blind, who has the 8 3 of spades, who makes a call. Interesting. Don't really like that a lot. Well, it's like I said, I just said people like playing suited trash, right? Yeah. Out of the big blind. I think it's fine. Wow. Okay, the flop so comes. action flop. King 10 4, two spades. Uh, Nguyen flops, top pair with runner runner. He's got the ace of spades. Holler flops, uh, eight, eight, high, eight flush high flush draw, draw. king ten four. We're gonna get action on this flop. Kenny Holler checks. Yeah. This could be really bad for Kenny. I mean, I don't see Kenny putting in a raise here. No, that flop texture. Yeah. I mean, I think you definitely want to raise some flush draws. I don't think the eight three of spades is one of them. I mean, if you do, you're you're just so unbalanced here, right? Because what are your value raises here? You got like your sets, your two pairs. And huge draws, check and big double draws, right? Yeah. So like, you know, if you're just check raising all your all your flush draws, then you're you're pretty unbalanced. So Nguyen bet two million into four. Kenny call. He calls. Here comes the turn. Into the spade. Things are gonna get bananas. It is wow. a spade. Wow, man! Nine Kenny's, of spades rolls off. Kenny's got tweet number. I mean, when does oh it redraw with the ace of spades? Um. Kenny turns a flush. So, what do we have, so, so Kenny's got 32 million behind right now. We could get it which in. Which is here. 4x pot. We could get it in. I don't know. Wow, think and so. bet's really small. He bet 2.7 into 8. Okay, so Kenny's clearly going to raise here. Like, he's 100% going to raise. Yeah. And then Wynn's going to call because he's got the flush draw and top pair. Depends how big Kenny. I, I don't think there's any chance that Wynn shoves on him. I mean, that would be horrendous, because... Yeah. I mean, you're basically only folding out, like... Unless Kenny bets... Losses. Unless Kenny puts in, like, three quarters of a stack or something. Where you... Oh, Kenny's just calling. Wow. Wow, Kenny I just calls. I think that's bad, too, yeah. Um, like, this it is may work up, I mean, he may be maybe setting up a check raise on the river. Like, if it comes a, a red deuce right now... Six of clubs. So, which is basically the same thing. Air ball. So, that's a great card for Kenny. The final board is Ken, King 10, 4, 9, 6 with three spades. Kenny is... He, he's not really in a position where he can check where he's all in. So, like, even if he checks and win bets like half pot or something like that... Oh, Kenny checks the river. I hate that. 
I don't ever want to roll my. No, hand I think I, I. mean, I think if you, I think if you check all the turn, I think checking the river is right, because I think you have to go for a check raise in the river. But I think but he's going to check. check the, the thing is, Wynn's going to check back so many hands here that you're yeah, he see, check and he back. checks back, yeah, and you're, yeah. now you got to roll. I, but I think flush. the mistake was the turn more than the river because it's it's very weird to like check all the turn and leave the river. I don't I don't know what value that I don't has. Like that. I don't like that line at all. So, but Kenny, but again, like it's it's very similar to the King Jack Ace Jack hand. Like Kenny just Penny just like. Like, he gets very lucky, and he doesn't win a lot of money out of it. Right. But it's so huge for him. And, like, Wynn's probably quite frustrated right now because he's gotten it in with the best of it a couple times. Right. And it just hasn't worked out for him. Um, but, yeah, it's funny. He just, like you said, he, he just keeps picking up big hands. Uh, but his chip stack isn't increasing at all. So I think it's actually, like, more frustrating than just not picking up hands. <laughs> picking, yeah, no kidding. Okay, you should have 100 million by now. Ross, the the ticker says Dallas second and three on the Philadelphia thirty seven. Second and three. The Dallases. I have under forty two and under forty three. Because <laughs> if under forty two was a good bet, then clearly under forty three has to be. A I mean, yeah, forty three and a half, forty two and a half. I mean, they can kick a field goal and then. No, they're not going to kick a field goal. Yeah, Philadelphia defense is pretty good. They haven't allowed. <laughs> That's no, a touchdown since the first quarter. But they're not going to kick a field goal. They'll go for it in fourth instead of going kicking a field goal. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I'm just saying. So got 30. Be, there'll be no field goals. Incomplete pass. Second, second and 10 at the 34. Second and 10 at the 34 is a great spot to bomb it in the end zone, right? Kind of. Oh, I love... I, I'm just loving the ES... This uh, is ridiculous. The ESN2 Go commercials. This guy is not a doctor. No. <laughs> he is he is an actor who grew out a beard and wearing a stethoscope that they could they tried to they, they, they probably should have found somebody like twenty years older and a lot fatter. He's probably just like the cameraman's son. <laughs> this guy could be an addict, in fairness. That guy looks like an addict. That guy if he I mean, is they, an they addict, he's a very good actor, actor. yeah. So I bet Lon and, uh, well, I guess it's not Norm, right? It's Lon and, who's, who's it? Oh, it's, it's, it's Norm in the booth. Okay. I bet Lon and Norm are probably very happy about the, the current format of, like, we talked about this going from 9 to 6 yes. and then 6 to 2. They are. And Kara. Because, I mean, like, back in the old days when you went from, like, 9 to 3, you could be talking about, like, 11-hour days or whatever. All right. Especially with the structure. All right. We are back. And X. And 44, I believe. And 44. Producer doing his job. Yeah, I'm trying not to spoil it for myself, though, so... Yeah, you just have to make sure you're scrolling to the right part of the screen. Yeah. I'm on team... I do wish they had, um... You know, they've got the graphics at the top showing the current chip counts. I wish they had their seat numbers instead of their... Position. Instead of, yeah, like, we can infer that 37 million is less than 39 million. Folded to Josephy in the cutoff. Ace nine of spades. He picks it up. He raises to one point four million. Michael Ruan right behind him with Ace deuce of hearts. So Ace nine fold. of spades raises. Ace deuce of hearts folds. Uh, he just sat. He didn't get that folds. Open. Small blind Kenny Hollert. We haven't seen his hand because again we're playing too fast. Ace four close. Another suited ace. Another suited ace. Three suited aces. Do the small. These four clubs. This, this one's tricky. And again, it feels like Hollard's played every single hand in yeah. this final table, right? Like, he's just picking up, like, a lot of hands that he's just being forced to play. He probably just wants a break. Like, I know when I'm, like, in a high-pressure situation in a poker tournament, and I've been playing, like, all the hands. Like, there's a lot of times where I'm just like, you want a mental please break? just give me, like, eight deuce yeah. over and over for, like, ten hands, and then I'll yeah. be back. I'll just get playing. Like... I was like, you know, you just don't want to, like, pick up ace-ten offsuit and, like, pocket like sevens some all the fucking time. Yeah. And then you're just seeing flops and turns and rivers. Like, it's tough. So, Kenny's... It's it's Kenny's job to, like, really just stay mentally focused right now. So, Josephy raised again in the cutoff with ace-nine of spades. Hollert flatted with ace-four clubs in the small blind to Wong in the big line with the queen-six of diamonds. He calls as well. Flop. Eight-four-four. Eight-seven-seven. Seven. Sorry. 
877. Uh, everybody misses. Cowboy scored. <laughs> thanks, Frost. <laughs> thanks, thanks for keeping your eye on the ball. <laughs> uh, check to Josephy. Feels like a pretty easy continuation bet here. Five million in the middle. I'd be probably betting two point seven somewhere in that range. He bets two point two. This is an interesting spot for Wong because he can rep a lot of this range with the eight seven seven and the big so line, right? Kenny's gonna fold here. Um, I don't even know what he's really thinking about right now. Kenny folds. Wong snap folds. He, I mean, you say he can represent a lot, but he's got 14 million in chips, and there's already yeah, 7 million. He's in not the deep line. enough to be. So he just has to, like, around. yeah, he's, he, I mean, if you just check raise bluffs, there's just, that's kind of like straight spaz. Yeah. If he's got a deep stack, he can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check no, all, sure. Lead the turn. Yeah, I mean, he can get creative if he's the chip leader, by all means, but um, not the time. Oh, the old uh, how the chip leaders ended up thing. So JC Tran, in, since 2008, the worst leading chip leader finish. Even he fifth. just got dealt. Everybody shit. else got gold, silver, or bronze. JC got no hands that entire final table. Wasn't there? Wasn't he the one who also like it, it, he like four bet ace queen and then folded to the five bet or something like that too? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. So yeah, so tomorrow. We, oh, it doesn't even go to heads up. So tomorrow to goes three. from six to three. So it's that that could be the short day, depending on how deep yeah. they are. Because three down to one tends to go pretty quickly. Although the year that uh, one of those one of those years it took forever. Folded to Veo in the cutoff. He bets one point four. He raises to one point four with the two sixes. Fold fold to Banger in the big blind. Who has Queen Nine off? He's got a clear defense. He's got. 10 million. He's yeah, got it's 16 bigs. He's got 16 bigs, but he's basically facing close, like a 2.5 or 2.2 raise. Ooh, mm. I don't like this fold. The queen nine off? You don't yeah, like that? I don't like that fold. I mean, that's a clear ladder fold. Like, that that really signals that, that he's trying to ladder. Just folding queen nine to a button raise. That's one, but it's one of those hands where you, when you flop, you uh, you know you never really never know where you're at. If it comes queen high, or if it comes king queen, queen high, king your money is going four. in the middle. Yeah. No, I'm saying yeah, if it comes king queen four or something. Like, and, I mean, it's got value. There are enough There's good flops of, for queen. There, there are enough decent enough flops for queen nine to put the rest of your money in. Like shove, shove there. No, I think I think shoving would be. Oh, okay, sorry. Because well, the thing is, you're getting a price pre-flop, right? The whole point is that you're getting odds pre-flop. So I think you just, you know, you can wait for some of your better flops. What hand is this, producer? Um, 46. And 46. Kenny Howard's on the pot again. Picks up the ace, nine of hearts. He raises to 1.5. Folded to Mr. Griffin Banger? No. no. That's, that's uh, Rzichka. With Oh, Ace Jack of Diamonds. Rzichka has in the big blind here. Again, Hallard raised with Ace Nine of Hearts. Rzichka. Hallard raised, what, from mid position? Yeah. So, I mean, I think the standard plays the call here. I think, um, yeah, especially, I, I think, I mean, these guys are way too deep, I think, for Rzichka to re raise out of possession. I don't. I don't think he should three bet from out of position here. I think he. I think his hand is kind of too strong to three bet slash too weak to three bet. Looks like he's got three betting chips out. Yeah, this is ICM suicide against some pretty. Yeah, this big. is the number three stack against the number five stack. Um. 5.6 million, too. It's a pretty healthy raise. Big like, raise. Kenny might have to fold here. Yeah, I think Kenny folds, but... I, I think he... Uh, uh, I think gets himself in some really bad spots. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess his idea is that if, if Howard comes back over the top, he's, he's got an easy fold. But 
why give him the opportunity yeah. to even format bluff? Because, I mean, if Kenny does find a format bluff here, then Rajishka has to fold. Or even, like, tens and Kenny shoves. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, then you miss out on you your miss flopping. miss out on so much equity here. Yeah. Assuming you're not calling. I don't, I don't know that Kenny shoves 38 million with tens, but... Antonio just said exactly the same thing as me. He's like, if, if Kenny decided to be a hero in four bet, then Rajiska can't call. Which, yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I think even, like, ace-queen suited might even be a call for, like, the sort of the same reasons. Because when you get it in, it's... Your hand just is so devalued. I mean, I think if you have ace-king here, obviously, if you have, like, jacks, if you have tens, you get it in. But most likely Kenny just folds Kenny here. folds. Yeah. Like I said, he's, he folded and he wasn't happy about it. I mean, in defense of Rajiska, like, any time that you win pre with ace-jack out of position and you don't have to play anymore, like, that's a win. Yeah. So, Adam, I wanted to ask you about what is your, like, thoughts real quick on... If you were running the WSOP Twitter account, yeah. would you be tweeting in real time or would you be tweeting in TV time? So we're on a half an hour delay. We're on a half an hour. I delay. would be tweeting in TV time. You'd be tweeting in TV because of the ma- the TV audience is multitudes bigger than the live audience. So I guess yeah. So for sure, my my thoughts on this are though that if you go to wsop.com, they're posting updates in real time, mm-hmm. right? And then so they're sort of like because there's no more poker news. WSOP is supposed to be sort of like the source. For news, but at the same time, I sort of see your point of view because it's like they're like the corporate account and they're trying to protect their own product or something like that. I don't know. I, although I, I guess it's not their product; it's ESPN's product, right? I don't know. It's an interesting. It's an interesting decision because they, they when uh, when Vi no sorry excuse me when Pons was all in for the first time, he didn't get called. When he was all in the first time, the first thing they tweeted was. We have our first all in, and like they just got slaughtered on Twitter. Oh, really? Spoilers. Like they didn't even say anything. All they said was, "We have our first all in." They didn't say who it was. They didn't say whether it got called. They didn't say whether it like like who was all in, and whether it was called or like what any action is. They were just like spoilers. OMFG. Like people take this shit really seriously. Yeah. I remember back when when MoneyMaker won the World Series, and we were working for Poker Stars. Um, like we put. Congratulations, like Chris Moneymaker for winning the World Series Poker because he came from Poker Stars, and people fucking hated us because it was months later that it was the TV. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so but it, it's <laughs> hilarious. It's like, I mean, you're on a poker site, and you don't know Chris Moneymaker. Right. Yeah, right. the only reason you're here is because Chris Moneymaker won <laughs> the World Series of Poker. <laughs> oh man, I just I thought that was really it, it's it's sort of like an interesting sort of social media. Uh, Did you see uh, Queen Win was selling pieces of himself? Yeah. Uh, somebody sent us that link. I forgot who it was. Um, I didn't see the breakdown of, of exactly what he was asking for. For a I mean, percent. it's really smart, really. I think. I mean, you're you're basic. We basically talk about like flattening your variance. Yeah, kind of like we. This is all life changing money. Like every life, eh. and you want to be able to play in a way that maximizes your EV, right? So like, you don't want to. You don't want to be constrained. Like, say for Griffin right now, like, we talked about Griffin trying to ladder up. If if he was playing for much smaller stakes, he might be more likely to make the more EV correct play. Right. I mean, there's a guy who, by the way, doesn't give a shit about laddering. He has Johnny Vax. Go fuck yourself money. Yeah, so Johnny Vax is trying to win this poker tournament right here. I mean, he's, he's also probably trying to make the correct ICM decisions as well. I think he's yeah, that smart. He's smart. So but, uh, Banger was 16 big blinds. Yeah, like, the thing is that, like, even the shortest stack is 16 big blinds, so it's not like they can just sit around waiting for the bust, right? Right. It's not like we like, we previous final tables where, like, dudes limp in with, like, two and a quarter big blinds or something like that, and you're just like, okay, let's just wait for this guy to bust so we can actually play poker. And it's, it's not like the situation last year where we had, like, McKeon just crushing everybody. Uh, this guy's just snap Wow. He's just, he's Wynn picks up ace-queen ace queen on the button again. Raises, everybody folds. I mean, he's just... Oh, yeah, he's, wow. Josephie folded ace-eight off in the small blind to a button raise. 
That's I mean, all, the only reason that happens is because he's number two in chips and Wynn is number yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, from the small blind, it's really hard to play, I think. So if he's in the big blind, he doesn't fold there, I'm sure. Yeah, it gets squeezed. You took me to get squeezed right. by the big blind. Yeah. yeah, or you could end up in a three way pot out of position with ace rag. So Kui has, this is, they're saying that this is his first 10k buy-in was this main event. Wow. So he was probably like staked in it to begin with. Maybe, yeah. Or like sold off a bunch of action to begin with. Unless he satellited it, maybe. Folded to Banger. You move over here. With Ace, Eight of Hearts. Wow, he folds, open folds the Ace, Eight of Hearts. Now, and he just like gets okay. up from the table. 16 bags. And he's going to, he's, he's, like you see Griffin going over talking to his rail just saying like, I folded, Ace, Eight suited. I hate my life. Wow. <laughs> Folded to Ruan and the small wow. blind. Ace so Griffin King. is going to be super happy when he sees this. No kidding. So he would have been all in. He would, he would have been all in, and Ruan would have reshoved behind him, and he would be having three outs for his tournament life. This is interesting here. So Ruan opens with Ace King in the small blind. Veo has nine ten of clubs in the big blind. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to at least call. I imagine he's not going to yeah. raise. And number fifty. This is hand 50. All right, we're to the flop. Blind versus blind. It is 9-5-4. So, Veo flops top pair. Ruan still with ace-king. I like the team to win t-shirts. We can see that in the background. Oh, those are good. It's like garbage flop. Like, garbage flop. like Ruan's going to like see bet this most of the time, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Vio's going to raise with his top pair. I'm, I'm very wrong. I mean, this is pot control, right? Against You're going to check call. Probably. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I forgot he was out of position. Yeah. I forgot he... So, yeah, I forgot this is blind on blind. Everyone's out of position. So, yeah. Um, you so I guess he's going to check call. You blow, you blow it a pot with ace high out of position if you kind of... Yeah, no, that's, I think that's fine. I mean, I, I also think C betting would have been fine. Check to Veo, who bets 2.1 into 4.4. Right. Now, Veo's range obviously has a lot more of the old 9-5-4 flop. Yeah. Just to, being the big blind defender. But Ryan can't just fold like not no pair. No. He, he, has, like he has to peel. Check call, check, decide on the turn. Yeah. I mean, like, if the board paired fours or something, like, Ryan might have to check call again. Wow. Oh, wow. Check full at Ace King. I think it, I couldn't really hear, but I think Antonio was even advocating for check holding there. Because he was saying, like, he doesn't want to, you don't want to just check call to make a pair, which I understand. That's an interesting but, patch. I mean, you just have the best hand, like, so often. Yeah. Like, you're, you're just, you know, if you if you just let Jack-10 blow you off the pot, that kind of sucks. Wow, they're showing a flashback. When he fails all in. Ace king against aces, and he gets there. He had his backpack on. That's the key. <laughs> that is the put key. The That's the key, Adam. Put I've done that. Put on ace king hand. versus aces. Yeah. You got to put on the backpack. Your jacket, whatever. You I mean, have. I mean, there it's not even douchey to put on the backpack because you're so far behind that it's like nobody could blame you for putting on the backpack. Right. Yeah. I hate the people who put on their backpack when they're all in like when nines head. against ace queen. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like that's bullshit. Stop it. That's, that's bullshit. bullshit. You have to at least be a three to one dog to put on. <laughs> All right, Rosichka has picked up the two red aces. He's raised to one point five million. Fold to the big blind, Mister. So someone Collins. other than than Chui Win picked, picked up, up a big hand. hand. Sorry. Kenny Hollard's in the big blind. He called with the eight three eight three of spades, so he's definitely calling with his ten three of hearts. Oh no, he had the jack five of diamonds, sorry. And he folded, which I don't quite understand. Called with the eight three of spades. Are we throwing darts here? Or? Jack, jack five seems better than eight three. He was an under gun under the gun raise that he didn't like. That seems weird. He wanted to give uh Nguyen action, didn't want to give Rizichka action. Or I mean I think that's reasonable. Rizichka like, Rizichka hasn't played nearly as many hands as Win. 
It, and I mean, in fairness, like Wynn hasn't been getting out of line. We've seen all the big hands he picked up, but it's if you don't have access to, to yeah, yeah, if you don't have access to that information, you just think Rudy's is a tighter player. I wonder how much um, they're not showing guys going over the rail that often. Griffin Banger just did it, but I think yeah, he was right. just doing it to let off steam. Uh, so I'm, I'm sort of curious how much information they're being fed. I mean, if it were me. I'd have, yeah, I'd have a whole team on it. I'd have a whole team on it, but not everybody likes that. I still can't get over marriage boot camp. It's <laughs> pretty good. Some interesting, interesting patches here. Fold it to Ruan, who raises with the king five of hearts. Sorry. So he's got the best bet Jacksonville patch. That's got to be worth more than five hundred, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's an actual casino. <laughs> they have they have actual money. They, yeah. They have actual money. And number fifty-two. Uh, Seminole Hard Rock. Uh, patch being rocked by uh, by Jerry Wong. So Wong is in the small blind with the queen five. No, he's in the big blind with the queen five of spades. Ron raised with the king five of hearts. Wong called with the queen five of spades. The flop is seven five deuce. Both flop a five. This will be an interesting pot here. I mean, it shouldn't be a big pot. Like no, there's Unless the five rolls off on the turn. Yeah, there's yeah the five is really. I mean, I don't think there's too much to see here. Like most of the, like most of the turn cards in the deck are going to be over cards that neither of them likes. So check back. I don't, call. I don't see this being a, a, a pot of any substance. He he seems to have calmed down the Jerry Curl a little bit. It, it seems to have like Brushed receded back. back into his hair. I think that's just his hair. I think yeah, I think that's just his hair. No, there's some sort of product. He's, he's not. Well, there's some sort of product. Wow, it goes check check. Interesting. I think if I'm Rowan, I bet that flop. That's. Pretty good flop. This is a great turn card for Wan. Seven rolls off. Seven. Yeah. So like they both think they have the best hand right now. That's so it's seven, so seven, seven but, five. But even deuce. still, it's not going to be a big pot. Like there's just going to be like there's Small going to be one bet seven. going in here, and then unless like the river's another seven, that's the that's uh, like the river being another seven is the is the one thing that yeah. can initiate another bet on the river. But I mean, most of the time there's going to be like one bet that goes in, and then the river's going to check through. So Wong bet 1.5 million on the turn against 775 Deuce Easy call. with the Queen 5. Wong bet with the Queen 5, gets called by the King 5. The river is a 4 of clubs, brings a flush. Obviously a straight as well. It's just gonna probably going to go check check here. Probably gonna check. I mean, Ron could find a value bet, but I think that's Me really thin. I, and I think it's inconsistent with the way this final table has been played. So far, like nobody's been going for thin value at all. So I don't, I don't see. I mean, Wong betting would be fairly atrocious right now. Wong checks. Yeah, I think around. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like like this is the thing. Like this is what I was saying back in the flop. Like this, like there are so few cards that there's so few runouts that can generate real action. This right. is the one had like a board pair and an undercard, but it's still not generating significant action. So like and and, it, and the other thing that's interesting about this hand is it doesn't like almost none of their decisions matter because you're talking about Rowan and checking back the flop like it doesn't matter because doesn't change much, yeah. it doesn't change anything because Wong just bets a turn so like either way there's just going to be like one bet going in. Rowan is really thinking, about, thinking value, about this, which which is good. I mean it's it it's smart. It's that strange he's thinking to about bet it. after thinking this long though. This would be a weird bet. I don't know. I mean. Wong declares five. And mm -hmm. Rowan's like, five what? I probably got you if you have a five. Probably. You know, he could have any side. All right, so fashion power rankings. We're back on uh, fashion. Rowan's sort of in the middle of the pack with his biker jacket, it seems like. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> who's who's well-dressed at this final table? Uh, Ruzichka's got a nice black uh, shirt. I don't yeah. mind that. I, I, Bangers, Gr Griffin's uh, looking good. He's, yeah. he's sporting a hoodie, but it's a classy hoodie. Cla it's, like, it's, it's, it's a good, like, it's a quality hoodie. <laughs> it's a good it's material. Not like, it's not like hoodie from, like, 1994 shit going on. <laughs> like the one I got on. Yeah, exactly. He's like got the a, I have most of the time. <laughs> he's got a Blue Jays hat on. He's, he's got the Blue Jays hat on, but he's got the sort of the black and white one. Oh, we got a WCP.com ad. Yes. Uh, oh, this is like the WCP mobile. Yeah, and the bet, my favorite thing about this is I, hey, I hope they, they showed him this one. There's like one where the guy calls down to the river with like ten high, like the as the hero, like the hero. He's just got like ten high, like he missed like every draw, but he just calls like one point two million on the river for no reason. 
What, what is it, what's the next ad we got on the on the ESPN news? Is this like a depression ad? Oh, oh, it's hurry the hurricane. Hurricane. oh yeah. So we've reached the point in the broadcast where only senior Look, citizens are. I kind of need one of these canes, actually. Yeah, you've been uh, you've been having some back pain. <laughs> I have. If I rolled in here with a hurricane, would it just be over? You'd just be like, shake your head. I mean... Oh, look, it, it pivots. It's, this is actually kind of an interesting up. product. Hurricane.com. Colors, colors are very important to your hurricane. <laughs> yeah, right. Those of you who can't like, tell the difference. Uh, the, the shot of like walking on the beach with your granddaughter is a... Is a oh, oh, it's got suction cups. Oh, that's mine. This is a pretty classy cane. How does it work with the suction cups? I don't know. Doesn't that make it hard to... Yeah, you, are you like picking up on that? Every single like really, time, it's like... It's like, a, it's like a lat workout while, you're, while, you're, while your hips so you don't, don't need the cane anymore. Yeah. Oh, the Cubbies. The Chicago's one. Did you bet on the Chicago's? I had the over six and a half. That's not good. That's, that's a 3-2 game. That doesn't win. No. Yeah, we've reached the point in the broadcast where ESPN is basically showing their own ads, ads that cost like a hundred dollars to produce, like the Hurricane or their own shit. This reminds me of uh, football games can be tied. I didn't know that. It says twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Two tie games today. Oh really? One last week. Yeah, it doesn't happen often. Three this year. Oh yeah, they're they're showing the zip line what outside was the, the other one that tied? Dallas, Philadelphia. What's like the uh, pre-game price that you can get on a tie? Like, is it like twenty to one? Don't hire. Oh really? Sure, yeah. Wow. So much has to happen for you to tie an NFL game. Yeah. You got to go an entire quarter overtime period with no points. Well, or two field goals. Griffin Menger, two thousand four World Counter Strike champion. Was there like five people playing Counter Strike in 2004? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Griffin's up there in the fashion power rankings. So it's a it's a good looking hoodie. The glasses. Uh, thanks for down there. What else we got? Uh, uh, the Cliff Porzingis jersey by Jerry Wong is bad. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Bax is just wearing like a plain blue T-shirt, That's which is not fantastic. Not not great. Um, I like I got Wayne in the one hole, man. I love that look. Yeah, the Kenny's, Mercy, Kenny's, looking, Kenny's looking pretty solid. With, Kenny's got it. Yeah. He's got like a he's got a collared shirt underneath a uh, a long sleeve. Yeah, the the Knicks jersey is. I got banger in the two hole. Also, just like I don't know, I'm so, I'm sorry, but like, like guys who are, are clearly not built like basketball players wearing basketball jerseys yeah. always like always McKeon hits me. last year. So McKeon is is yeah. the one I'm thinking of. Uh, Big guys don't work. Don't wear athletic jerseys look very well. Well, revealing athletic jerseys. Yeah. Wear a hockey jersey. It's huge. Yeah. No, hockey jerseys are like baseball shirts. Jersey. Yeah, it's exactly. a wife beater. You can't wear that. Yeah. I think I got Kenny in the three hole. There's the number one. <laughs> Just, the, it's got everything going on. It's so it's like a bright it's red funny. and silver collared shirt. The jade. Under, yeah, a giant jade rock. It's got a tiger on his hat. Is that a hat. denim jacket and... Is that a tiger? No, it's a, I think it's, I Raccoon? thought that was like a badger. It's a honey badger? You don't care? <laughs> with yeah, the with the uh, the label clearly. still on the baseball cap and no Number no one. brim bend. Yeah. I mean it's it's either the best or the worst. Like there's no it's very polarizing. <laughs> Jack's wearing a bow tie. Jack Apple has got a bow tie on. Wow. It's pretty Jack's looking good. Maybe Jack's in the one hole. Yeah, Jack, 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 yeah. I mean he should be. Oh he's even got like a, a pocket square. Do you see that? Nice. Jack's got a pocket square. Johnny Bax, they haven't heard a lot of from them. Today. Lines must have gone up. Johnny Bax opens with sevens to 2.2. Yeah. I feel like blinds must Johnny, have gone up. Johnny Bax has been playing very few hands. Um, we saw him make some, like, you know, you said you, you know, the ace eight fold was tight. I mean, I thought, like, yeah, it's hard to play. Yeah. But. Uh, folded to, who's in the big line here? Mr. Rizichka with the 9 10. No, Banger was in the small line with 9 10. Rizichka has. Ace King, and he flats the open of Joseph. Yeah, I, and I think this is right because Joseph e starts the hand with sixty-five million, Rizich starts with sixty-one million, um, and I think it's right for him to flat there because if he There's three so bets and gets called, now he's in a pretty tough spot post flop. Now the flop came to Ace King nine, so like the hand's pretty much over. But 
I well, mean, if if he doesn't smash that, get that flop smash to the face, he would have been in, in trouble. Spot, yeah. So he ace king top two checks to Josephy. So I think Josephy is just clearly going to check raise and take it here. I think Josephy's like fired his one bullet and he's decided I'm not putting any more money into this pot. Can you just sure. flat call this bet? I mean, maybe. I think it's reasonable. I think I think I flat call here because I think I want Josephy if, he, if he's got ace queen to let him hang himself kind of thing or ace nine. He does flat call. The turn's a three. Yeah. The the problem there is... You're way ahead, way behind, right? What are you way behind of? Like, aces <laughs> or kings? Or, I mean, you're way... Yeah, but you block aces or kings. Like, you're really only... Of course. Nines, yeah, no. right? yeah, but you're way like, ahead and, and, of and, his range. And way behind a little bit of it. I, I don't agree. You can be somewhat ahead of flush draws. Like... Yeah, I mean... There's flush draws. There's Broadway draws. I think I prefer check raising there. Turn comes with three of diamonds. It looks like Rizich is going to. Because if you're not check raising there, you're basic. What are your check raising values? Yeah. You have yeah. nines. Your your whole range is nines. <laughs> like. Yeah. So the bet is seven million into eleven. Pretty healthy bet here. So oh, so he just check called and then donked the turn. Donked the turn. So this hands over. I mean, yeah. Cliff's kind of looking confused right now. Like, what is what is this line supposed to mean? Um, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if, like... It looks really weird. Yeah, but he's still got sevens. Um, I think what he's actually doing, if I'm guessing... So Johnny Bax is sitting here thinking for 30 seconds. I think what he's actually doing is looking at Rajiska, knowing, for, for knowing that 30 minutes from now, he gets to find out what this hand is. Slowing it down so he can find out faster. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Not even that. But just, like, saying, like, okay... Let's get a mental image right now of what he looks like, and, and then later, thirty minutes from now, when I find out, oh, that's what that means. Like, that's interesting. yeah. So I've told, I think I've told this story on the show before about a time that I played the first time I played with Phil Ivy. Yeah. And um, there was a hand. I think it was like Parliament Hold'em or something stupid. Where <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably Parliament Hold'em. I remember it being silly. Um, where I was fairly short, and he raised. And I shoved all in with Ace King. Okay. And he he gave me a stare like he checked his whole cards. He gave me like a good not a long stare now like but probably like seven or eight seconds. And he called and he had two kings. So obviously he was calling 100 percent of the yeah. time, right? But I think he wanted to know what it looked like for right. me to have like like he wanted to decide in his head like here's this kid I've never seen him before. I'm gonna see his hand. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to see his hand. He might double up here depending on what he's got if he's got aces then yeah. he's got me but I'm putting this in the memory bank for what exactly and I think that's what I think a lot of not quite elite players don't do enough of and I think that might have been what Johnny Bax was doing here because he was obviously folding sevens on the ace king nine right. board folded to Ruan who raises with the nine seven of clubs hand number 55 hand 55 you cannot drive 55 Sammy Hagar fans in the house? No. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm on an island. Not that I'm a fan of Sammy Hagar, just that I know the song. Uh, Queen Jack, Kenny Hallard has in position. Again, Ruan raises 970 clubs. I think yeah, that's I think a pretty right. easy fold. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Folded to the small blind. Mr. Rizichka folds. It's not a bad long sleeve shirt by Rizitsky either. Looks just a good solid black shirt. Yeah. I can only imagine, by the way, if I ever make the final table, like the 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 thrill of it for my girlfriend will not be the fact that I potentially could win nine or ten million dollars. It's the fact that she get she would have rights to dress me for the final table, <laughs> and then like she'd be going. To, I mean, like at that point, like she's so. I mean, I don't know if your wife is like this, but, like, is, is your wife excited when she gets to dress you? Or oh, like, my God, yeah. yeah so the other right. day, I, uh, I got up to go take the kids to hockey. Well, I rarely do that. And then I had track pants on. She goes, mm -hmm. you're just giving up, huh? <laughs> just, I'm not even out the door. I'm going, I'm going to the rink. Yeah. She's mad. because We're I'm not going to a wedding. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to a wedding. She, yeah, you're just giving up. She says to me, oh, God. All right, I'm going to put jeans on. <laughs> Like, yeah. oh, it wasn't a tie. The Dallas one. 
I thought that was the. Uh, oh. oh yeah, they ended up coming back. It's annoying. So it's not too surprising that we're into like we're coming up on three and a half hours now, I guess. And yeah. uh, we've only we still still lost one player. So we talked about how deep this was. Banger down to twelve blinds. Yeah, he's gonna have to pick a spot here at some point. But he's been playing so tight. He's I don't really. Fold I don't see him getting in the light. All right, folded to like, Veo. Bringer's going to need like a big hand. Yeah, Veo folds. Uh, oh, sorry, raises. They he opens hearts. Everybody folds. Everybody folds. They're, this is awesome. They're playing so many hands. So you're saying three and a half hours and saying fifty. But they didn't start right away, probably, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they usually just playing. Playing. I believe this. And they had a break. And fifty. They're probably but that's three hands an hour. Last yeah, year it was they're, twelve. They're close to thirty. Yeah, exactly. This is such a huge improvement. And 56. It almost makes me think, like, these guys, like, all had each other's email addresses before the final table. Let's, like, just, let's, just, let's just not be assholes. <laughs> well, they spent so much time berating a guy for taking his time. Like, you can't really do it now. <laughs> right, that's true. I, it'll be interesting to see when they're, like, three-handed, whether it continues up like this. Like, when the pressure's really on for big money. Because the pay jumps right now are still, like, obviously they're objectively large, but, like... As a percentage wise, they're still pretty small. Like yeah. ninth place is like one point four million or something. Folded and, to Mister under, under ten now. Nguyen, who raises on the button. We will see his hand shortly. He does have the king jack of spades. Man, he's picking up tons of hands. He's like the ex he's almost picking up like too much hand on the button. Because he, yeah, nobody's gonna believe. Because he can like open up there. The whiffs, the air balls, the eights, ace, eight, five flop. Ruane both called with the queen ten off. So this is gonna be this is gonna be like a first person who bet wins it. Like ace high, or it's yeah, like queen high versus king high of the flop. So whoever bets just wins. Ruan checks the flop. Here's two point one million is gonna go in the middle here in a second. Yeah. God, that hand is so distracting. So ridiculous! Great. It is a badger, right? Or yeah, I guess it's a bad fox. Dude. What is the fox at? It's not a fox. Foxes are way better looking at them. Could be a black and white fox. So crazy! It's like an angry whatever it is too. It almost has like, um, like it's seal seal whiskers. whiskers too. It's got like whiskers like a seal. It's almost like this hybrid cool. animal. A bracelet. Sort of Isn't it the same animals. bracelet as last year? Pretty much. Looks like. I don't know. I pulled my uh, W Coop bracelet, tumble brag, out of my uh, lockbox today. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, because I was just like I'm I'm going to Hong Kong next week, and so like this is like the time of year where I, like I grab all my shit that I need to put away and like into storage and stuff like that. Yeah. So I got my lockbox which has like my Hong Kong currency in it, and I throw all my Canadian currency in it because I don't need that when I'm in Hong Kong. Right. And I, and I pull out the old 2009 bracelet to show my girlfriend. I'm like, do you know what this is? This is what we're gonna trade if there's like a nuclear apocalypse for food and water. <laughs> you know, it's like this gold. And, is it uh, gold? It is gold. Yeah, the, like the w plain or pure? No, it's it's. I think eighteen carats. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's serious gold. It's like worth a few thousand bucks. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. And so that's why I keep it in a lockbox, right? Like I keep it in a lockbox. So you've it. taken it to a jeweler and had it appraised? No, but I had to pay. Uh, I had to. Poker Stars had to declare its value to for the imports. Oh, interesting. And so that's what I know. So I saw it on like the, okay. the invoice slip or whatever it is. So it was it was assessed at the time at like a few thousand dollars, and that's when like gold was like I don't know four hundred an ounce. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's, it's a special amount of gold in there and, and diamonds in there as well. I think. So that is that over there? What's that? Is it on the table? Uh. Yes, it is. There. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Pull it right now. So I'll show you guys the old W. Jingling part of the microphone. <laughs> um. But yeah. It's, uh, it's, wow. it's decent. So I'm, I'm but basically, like, it's, it's never not, getting, it's, it's never plated, getting obviously, right? Yeah. Like, it's never going to get warm. It's heavy. It's heavy um, plated. And so basically, like, what that is, is my hunk of gold to trade in when there's a nuclear apocalypse and we, like, run out of water. Like, maybe I can get a gun out of it or something. Some warlord that wants to wear gold around his neck, he's going to yeah, give cool. you, like, a gallon of water for it. Yeah, that's that's Mad Max. This is this is Plan B. <laughs> this is right here. So Dan, when uh, he won his first bracelet, my brother Dan, idea. Yeah, he gave he gave me his first bracelet. He gave it to you. Yeah, oh, and nice. I have it still. And uh, I also, so you do have a World Series bracelet. Okay. You have you I'm have in actual, possession of one. You have the actual bracelet. <laughs> you you haven't won a World Series no. bracelet, but you have a bracelet. I do. 
a, uh, a friend of mine, and a friend of yours probably too, I think, Pierre Nazar, who's a jeweler here in Vancouver. Uh, he wanted Somebody wanted to get a copy of it, so he asked me to bring it in, and I brought it in, and he said it's probably worth a couple thousand. Yeah. I'm not surprised that the old 2009 Poker Stars bracelets are worth more in terms of actual gold than the WCB bracelet. No, that's not surprising. <laughs> Stars in 2009 was... Uh, plays small stakes live cash games and back rat. <laughs> He probably plays like small stakes live cash and high stakes back rack. Should we have the best for poker discussion right now? About who would be best for poker to win? Uh, well, Johnny Bax will just stake so many players that maybe... I mean, he's going to anyway. It's almost like that if Johnny wins, it just goes down a hole that, we're, that poker yeah. is never going to see. Uh, he, he might be worse for poker to win. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, we have a hand here. Kenny Haller picks up aces. I mean, maybe like... Maybe it's it's somebody like hand number fifty eight. Maybe it's somebody like Wong, like who has a little bit of personality to him. Uh, maybe it's Bing. Maybe it's Griffin, just because he's got an online following. Yeah, he's got an online following. He's got the whole gamer background. I don't know. I don't. Th- I don't like. I'm not excited about any of these guys. Counter Strike is pretty huge. So if yeah, I'm not I'm really not excited. In the Counter Strike world, then they'd be like, oh, I can make ten million dollars doing so and so. I think Griffin would probably be the best. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, it's certainly not exciting. Like nobody's exciting here. How about Nguyen? Well, you're never going to see him again. Maybe you would though. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's a decent chance you never see him again. But there's also some sort of chance where he embraces a celebrity and all of a sudden becomes. <laughs> oh what? We get awesome. the Vietnamese community playing poker, which has never happened before. <laughs> like, that's, I'm like, oh my god, Vietnamese people discovered four percent of the yeah, like, gambling. Like, like there's that one guy out there who was like, ah. Oh, we play poker? <laughs> yeah, no. no. I don't. No. <laughs> so you're saying Griffin's the best? Oh, Griffin's all in. Can't wait to see his Is hand. He shipped it. Uh, what position's he in right now? UTG plus one with a six of diamonds. He did not look He's very gonna confident. He's going to probably get this through. What's your calling range here? If you're who's in the big blind? In the big blind. It's going to be Kenny Holler. Who's in the big blind? It's like Ace-10, uh, King-Jack. Is it stuff. any tighter because Banger's been so tight? A little, but I mean... He gets it through. His first <laughs> one. And he goes crazy. Runs over his mm-hmm. rail. He finally won a pot. That guy in the rail looked like legitimately thrilled. Like Griffin was like ironically thrilled. Yeah, he's that guy in the, the guy in the rail was way too excited. That's Arpege. Arpege. It says di- Arpege Diamonds. Diamonds. Arpege Diamonds. I don't. I'm not a fan of the Griffin Rail T-shirt. It's, it's got to connect hashtag. so he can quickly liquidate that that bracelet. Griffinage. Is that what it's Gr- it says Griffining. Griffining, like, like winning hashtag. Can't say. I'm okay, a fan. how much did he get for the ArpeggioDiamonds.com? Had to be like seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, it says connect so that he can quickly liquidate his bracelet. Banger then open he gets all the diamonds. Out. I guess that's reasonable. Oh, cool. Rzichka picks up queens. Two red queens. What's Rzichka sponsored by? What is kings? He's wearing a patch and it just says kings. Uh, and it's neither the Sacramento or the Los Angeles variety. So they didn't get their money's worth because we have no idea what it is. Yeah. This is hand number 60, I believe. Hand 60. Rzichka picks up queens. The blinds are 400, 800. Uh, he opens to 1.8. Folded to... Oh, I'm Mr. Bayo on the button. So like Rowan looks like he's pissed off every time. Is it is it me? Or no, does Rowan just I look think like it's just those just way he is permanently pissed, pissed off. So he's, he's got resting bitch face, is what you're saying? <laughs> he does. Ryan folded the ace three of clubs. Bayo has he's, ace three of spades. He also kinda looks like a skinny, like skinny small version of the Undertaker. He is, yeah, that's good good. It's like, he's kinda pale, he's, he's got, got the, the biker hair. jacket and the hair. He's kind of just like a less intimidating undertaker. Yeah. Just needs Mr. Fuji behind him. <laughs> Paul Bear. Throwing, oh, was it Paul Bear? Paul yeah, Bear. Sorry, yeah. Mr. Fuji, I think, died recently. He did. Wow. Bayo getting three betting chips out here is really bad with these three spades. He's he's almost, it's, this is almost like a boredom three bet, because we've seen very little out of Bayo. He is three like, betting to... 5.1. Five point one. Yeah, and we're just gonna raise like second under the gun, right? Yeah. So yeah. Oh, Jerry Wong with Jacks in the oh, big man. blind. 
he's gonna stuff. He, he's he, all in. He's he got absolutely is gonna stuff. And this he's only got ten. This actually rescues Veo from his mistake yeah, in, in a big way. It does. Because Jerry's, he's got to, he's got to stuff it in here, and he's just gonna he's drawing it two out. So we're gonna be down to seven unless the jack hits. Mm-hmm. Good time. I'm going to bathroom break. Is there a or, this for myself? <laughs> all good. Or Rizizka decides to flat. Uh, yeah, I don't think he will though with Vale behind him because he really doesn't like Vale being behind him. Can Wong find a fold? But I guess he's. I guess no. maybe. I guess Rizizka might be worried that Vale just has a better hand. He might have aces or kings. So I think if you're. Oh, so wow, Wong just, just flat with the jacks. So now Rizizka does have to four bet. Where? That's so bad. Can I, I just say, yeah, explain yeah, yeah, yeah. how bad this is? He yes. called half his stack in the small blind with two jacks. Yeah, that makes no sense. Now what are you going to do? That's the really flop. atrocious. Uh, but it's not going to matter because I think Rajiska is just going no, to No, but I'm saying in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. It's it's terrible. I agree. Oh, so they're they're clarifying... Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay. So they put the graphics up The wrong, graphic so was wrong. Wong raised... So Wong clicked it wrong back. Wong clicked it back to 8.5. With with nine point five in his stack. Oh, and, and actually that's actually quite smart. So the reason why Wong did that is so that if Rajitska, um, so that it could potentially reopen the action back up. But he does if he shows too. Why, what, I don't okay, understand. Okay, so no, there's some really situation like... in which okay, so if he if he okay, so if Wong shoves, then the minimum re-raise after that would have to be the size of his all in right. So like if Wong moves in for the full amount, yeah. then that re then that makes the minimum. Five bet bigger than it would have been normally. So now he's giving. But he's got jacks. It's not like you. I mean. No, but he's giving. No, it's exactly the point. Now he's giving the option for Rajiska to click it again. Smaller. Yes. It is. This is actually a really tough spot for Rajiska right now. He's not. Low it is. Hand. It is. He cannot like. He's he's comp, he's dominating. He's crushing, but. He can't be in love with his hand. Like he, he well, raised Vail's got a lot of chips. He so, raised early. He got three bet by Veo, who has been playing very few hands, and four and bet. then w- four bet Min by four bet by guy with four bet by the guy with no chips. <laughs> and so this is a really tough spot for him, actually. Like I think clicking it again is probably the right play, given that Veo is forty four million. He's just gonna call. And now Veil has to call because he's getting a price and he's got position. Oh no, he clicked it back. Okay, yeah. So, so, okay. so he, did, he did the right thing. Veil folds, obviously. And Wong's going to put the rest of it in. And he's got two outs. Yeah. Or a bunch of... So yeah, outs. like so Wong picking up Jacks behind him did end up like saving Veo. Although I guess Rajiska probably just four bets even if Wong's not in the hand. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it turns out like their their play on this hand like none of it mattered because right. you know it right. just ends up being a cooler, which so often happens in tournament poker. Like we can talk and criticize about like well, they should have done this, they should have done that. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because the the two guys are going to get it all in regardless. So two red queens against the jack of spades and the jack of hearts. Very long, and we'll see how slow they roll someone out. 20, 25 million pot. So, Rajiska would actually be like, what, second in chips if he wins? Or third? He's he's really up there. I mean, he's been on a tear he's all day. He's been the right biggest, now. like, up. He's been the biggest upswinger, I think, of yep. the day already. And he stands to win, like, a 25 mil pot. Oh, he'll right be chip now. leader now. He'll be chip leader? Yeah. Yeah. 80. Oh, yeah, he, he would have 80. 6, 8, 9, 2 clubs is Ish. not a good flop. Ish strong. I mean, there's runners. There are runners straight. Yeah, there's so. one. But they include queens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Somebody handed one of the, the Griffin fans a Wong head. Who's oh, now they? carrying it like, right at the top corner. Wait, Griffin doesn't want Wong to win. I don't think so either, but I don't know if the guy in the rail knows that. <laughs> yeah. I think the guy in the rail is probably just buddies with the guy in the wrong Wong rail. Wong rail. Easy for me to say. Four on the turn. Nine, eight, six, four. Drawing to two outs. He's using his one time. He's, I, I believe this is correct. That's the one. This is the correct that's, strategy. That's GTO. You save it for the World Series main event <laughs> final table two outs. when you've got four cards dealt yeah. and two one card to come and two outs. He's correctly uses one time. So he's he's done all he's can. He's done all he can. He played his hand this man played his hand perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. 
don't don't see, you can't fold Jackson. Unless he previously used this one time. No, no, no. I, I think he's... This This hand was destiny. There's nothing that could have been done here. Ooh. Oh, it was pink, queen. but it was the queen. Somebody has an emotional support animal on the river, on the rail there. Did you see that? Huh? It was a dog. Somebody had their emotional support animal. Remember Jason Mercier with his yes. emotional uh-huh. support animal? Yeah, that, that. Check your privilege. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, those are those are great. Who's <laughs> shirts with us? Who's around? These guys. Because oh, these guys. Check. Ah, check. I didn't see the check. All I heard yes. the... Check your privilege. I didn't see how it was spelled. Uh, Jerry Wong is out in... I hope so if anybody eliminates ben, Benger, it's, it's Rajit's guy. So Benger has laddered up by folding his uh, A7, was that? A7, A6. Oh, seven. yeah. That would have been interesting. He yeah, I forgot about up. that. He was actually in the first position. No, he had King Jack suited, right? No, he had Ace something suited. Ace 8 or I think it was Ace That's eight when suited. he shoved and won the blinds. But in the next hand... No, because the big blind had... Or the small blind had Ace King. Oh, okay. Remember we said... Oh, yeah, that's right. Remember yeah, he right. dodged it. You're right, you're right. Yeah, he dodged one. So we're down to seven. One more player. and uh... All right, we're down to seven players. One more. Uh, lose one more, and we're done for the night. Chip leader is now Rizichka, 82 million. Mr. Nguyen is in second. Cliff Joseph in third. Gotta love Kara. She's just the best. She really is. Everybody loves Kara. So... He, eighth paid one point one million. He laddered up a hundred thousand. Oh my god, that's painful. that's disappointing. He laddered up ten buy-ins. Like that's crazy. I don't know. Like in a field of seven thousand people, he laddered up ten buy-ins from ninth to eighth. So here's your question: If you're him, mm-hmm. are you like just snap booking the flight out of Vegas? Yes. Me too. Good like, I'm sure Caesars probably treats them very well and does like the VIP treatment and like gives them the three free nights and the big suite and all that. Gone. You're you're gone at like the six a.m. if not sooner, right? Uh, Rowan opens with uh, King Queen off to one point eight million. Mister Kenny Hollert is on the button with the Queen Jack of Diamonds who flats, splashing the pot in the process. Splashed, uh, oh no. splashed the pot. Eight 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 poker sponsored Kenny Hollert. The most, the only real recognizable. Patch at this final table is Kenny Hallard if you're a poker player. So this is a really bad flop for Kenny. It comes Queen 9 6. He flopped top pair, but he's out kicked by Rouen, who has King Queen, and he has Queen Jack. Last time this happened, he just turned two pair and it came out with him like a genius. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's going to lose some chips here. <laughs> Unless, last time. Do you like the flat with Queen Jack of Diamonds pre on the yeah, bottom there? Yeah, I think that's clearly correct. We need the full drop. No. Adam's 2004 full drop. Mm-hmm. Wow, Ruan checks. Interesting. Queen nine six, really good flop for his hand. Ruan just He's playing is not a C better. Paw control. Yeah, he is not much of a C better. I mean, Kenny's going to bet. I can't imagine that he wouldn't. This is going to go. Kenny bets. Ruan's going to call. It's going to go check check on the turn. I don't know that it goes check check on the turn. I don't. I don't think. And Deuce rolls off. I don't see any reason why Kelly Kenny wouldn't bet again. I think it's very turn dependent. I mean, sure, if an ace or a nine rolls off on the turn, then Kenny's not going to bet. Kenny bet 1.7. Rowan has now called 1.7. The turn is a three of hearts. So Rick. that's pretty much what I said. Let's I can't imagine. I can't imagine Kenny checks us back here. I mean, I can't imagine it, but I don't think he will. He's, he, has, he's, he still thinks he's ahead. Why wouldn't he think he's ahead? He's ahead of two tens, two jacks, all the other pocket pairs, ace king, like jack ten, king jack. There's like a ton of hands that Rouen can have here that Kenny would want to bet, bet against. And you're right, Kenny's going to bet the, the turn, and after it's checked to him, he's going to bet. What's he betting? Three million? Three point one million. Into eight. I mean, the interesting thing is, does Kenny bet again? Like, say if the board just pairs like a three of spades on the river again, does Kenny three barrel for value? Which he might. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either, but he might. But Ruan has done so well here underrepresenting his hand. Like, it's really worked out perfectly for him, the fact that he's underrepresenting his hand. I mean, in fairness, if he just bets bet, it's the same amount of money that goes into the pot. River's the seven of diamonds. Yeah, I, I don't think. Round checks again. So I mean, fifteen million in the middle. The seven doesn't change a lot 
Yeah, Antonio's saying he's going to go for some value. I mean, I, d- I definitely think if the board was like, a th- if the river was like a, a three of spades or something like that, then Kenny should bet for value. And I think this one's still close. I don't blame Kenny at all if he decides to bet for value here. I think he's going to. Ruan's really studying him, too. Yeah, Antonio just pointed out that Hallard has a lot of Jack 10s in his range, which um, he would bet, he would like continue to play the same way. But then you're not getting any value from 10 Jack. No, no, no. He's saying that Kenny has 10 Jack in his range. Oh, 4.8. He did snap call. I think he still will call. I bet a third of the pot he's got to call the way 10 perfectly to get maximum value. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people make weird reads in the middle, in the middle moment. Yeah, he's calling. Like you, you have to think Ron has like two tens and two jacks like a lot of the time here. Ron's super happy now, even though he doesn't look. He still doesn't look super happy. Ron was up to fifty million, sitting yeah. in. Well, like I said, I mean, and Antonio said the same thing. I don't, I don't hate Kenny's play at all here. Relative pennies at this stage, <laughs> even though it is hundred k, and now he's a clear short stack. I got Ruzichka winning this thing. You you like the chip leader? That's, I mean, that's yeah, that's. I mean, he's not a huge chip leader, but yeah. I just like the way he's played so far. I mean, he's run pretty good too. He has. But yeah, he's just been solid. I don't think he's done anything spectacular, but he's just been solid all the way through. Yeah. Check your privilege. <laughs> That's that's really fantastic. I mean, <laughs> that is that it. I mean, and and it, and it's it's so much better that it comes from people who aren't from America, like right. who, who don't even speak English as a first language. It's so good. It's great. Uh, Joseph under the gun picks up the king ten of hearts, raises it up to one point eight. Ryan right behind him with ace nine of diamonds. Yeah, he can't play. Snap that. folds. Yeah, he can't really play. This is hand number. Ryan looks super pissed off. Sixty four. Kenny doesn't look happy. Things have not gone his way. No. He's had a very swingy day, for sure. Yeah, he did spike that king. That was nice. Yeah, he's had a very swingy day. He is in position here with the ace three of spades. Yeah, I think he's in the cutoff. So, this is a kind of a loose call. I think especially the way that Cliff hasn't been super loose, I think I would just muck this. Yeah, I think I'm folding this one. Kenny is going to call. Kenny likes playing hands. Which is, which is fun. It's definitely it's, been, it's definitely been fun oh. watching Kenny's hands. Kenny's getting a three bit really stack. And actually, this may be better. This isn't a bad play. I like this. Yeah, yeah. I like this better than flat. He's in position. <laughs> he still has enough chips for it to matter. They're still updating these chips. I'm on team <laughs> I'm, on team I'm on team pawns is below. <laughs> All right, so Kenny's raised to 4.9. Yeah, and Cliff's going to just fold here, I think. Yeah. Unless he gets like the sick read or something. I'm going to do it quickly. He's thinking about it. Yeah, it's, it's such a sizable raise that I think Cliff's going to fold. See if Kenny gets off tilt a little bit now. Oh, he's doing a good bit of a smile there. Good for him. I think they're playing past seven. No, they're, they're stopping at six. Stopping at six. Oh, it's six. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll pass seven. Yeah. Griffin down to nine big blinds. Kenny down to about 33, 34 big blinds. Yeah, it's still super deep. Like, it could still be a while, especially the way Griffin's been playing pretty tight. He wins a flip. But I think I think Griffin will loosen up a bit now that there are no other short stacks. Mm-hmm. Oh, just... What do you fold? Oh no! Sorry, that's Rizisco opening the button. I thought I thought it was Griffin. Yeah, I thought I thought Griffin was opening with the six four, but he just folded. Rizisco raised with the six seven of diamonds on the button. So Nguyen folds clear. a small blind. Did lo- you just love seeing like six seven on the button, six seven suited on the button in an unopened pot? Yes. Josephy folds the nine five of spades. Yeah, it does not defend with the suited trash in the big blind against the chip leader. I mean, I think that makes a big difference. Mm-hmm. So I just. I checked out the WSOP Twitter and um, what are they doing? They're they're doing the uh, they're doing it TV live now, but they're also tweeting the link to the live recording. But the interesting thing, so that hand we saw not long ago 
where Banger opened shoved and won the blinds, hand number 59. Yeah. That was his first pot of the final table. Yeah, that's why he went crazy. Oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, thought, I thought he was just celebrating because it was his first time in a while, but literally, like, hand 59. Imagine playing 58 hands without winning a pot at a final table. So I'm just trying to ladder, like, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Vea raises with the nines to 1.8 and raises and takes it. That was probably hand 65. And 6-5. I love how fast that point is. This is so great. This yeah. is watchable. It is watchable. I mean, and that's really... It hasn't been watchable no. in past years. Final tables I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Fold it to the button, Mr. Cliff. Josephy has two cards. We don't know what they are. Wow, he folded the button when it folded down. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was not happy I can't about imagine it. he got anything higher than a 5. Cliff folded the 10 3 hearts on the button. I'm not, I might even open that, that. Oh, yeah, I think I would open it. Here's R- Ruan who calls with 7 8 of hearts. You've got no, Ruan and Bio who are both behind you and who both. Um, yeah, I would open it in bad spots. Yeah. I'm, I'm, holding, I'm opening almost every hand there because of the fact that you've well, got especially those guys. hands. Yeah. I mean. Okay, so Ruan made it 2.4 in the small. Veo picks up the king nine off, and he's calling. Flop is, wow, king nine five. One heart. Uh, Veo top, flops top two Ruan with a gut shot. Ruan's probably going to... Yeah, he's probably going to see that. It makes a lot of sense for him to Depending do that. on what Veo does here. Yeah. Um, I mean, if Veo knows... Veo, what Veo definitely... I mean, this is a spot where for Veo, you can definitely make the case between both cool, both, both flatting and raising. And raising. Um, so, it's a very dry flop. There's not a lot of real bad turn cards for him. There's one. Yeah, know. well, yeah, that, he doesn't know that the six is a bad turn card for him. Okay, so we're right about three million in Veo flat. I think the flat is just fine here. The turn is a deuce. Which is the perfect card uh, for Veo. Total rainbow. So now, I don't know if Ruan's going to bet again. I, I suspect not. I, suspect, not. I think he'll, he'll slow it down. But if he did, then, then it would be time for Veo to drop the hammer. Um, as it stands right now, this, that's probably the last chip that Veo wins out of this pot, I'm guessing. But I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan barreled again. You know, he might just think he's got floated by Ace High or something like or that. Ace Deuce is a good card. Then, yeah, some sort of. Hand. I mean, Ace Five is still going to call. But I, I mean, On I think turn. Not if he bets big, he might not call. He might not, but I don't. I mean, I don't think you should be trying to bluff pairs when you're blind versus blind out of position. Like bluff people off of pairs, but I think you can bluff people off of Ace High. Um, he might think that that Veo has something like Queen Jack, Queen Ten, Jack Ten, peeled with a gut shot. Like all of these hands are plausible, so I think it makes sense for for Ruan to bet again um, a large percentage of the time. I think he, he's looking like he might bet again, but he's really he's really not sure. He's like I think genuinely not sure. Bit of a tell from Ryan there, as he just sort of like does the old um, eye scratch and then checks it over, like the, I guess the old like classic uh, Zach Elwood reading poker tells it would call that like a soothing gesture. Right. Um, Checks the turn. Check bet fold. Yeah. Fail bets folds. So I mean, Fail flops the monster. He's probably disappointed, but he was, he was never going to get a lot of money in that pot unless he loses, unless, unless like the six rolls off. So. Tin Pot Creamery is his other sandwich. Yeah. So he's what? sponsored by the Sandwich Depot and Tin Pot Creamery. So he's got ice cream and sandwiches sponsoring him. Wow. So Veo picked okay. up the delicious. The 700 is way too high. That's like 300. Yeah, that Tin, <laughs> tin Pot Creamery. It's not, probably it's not like even a web address. address. It's not even, it's like a storefront. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably his so friend's well, business. I love, the, I love the staff of Veo. Expelled from high school six weeks before graduation for skipping class to play poker. I have, we, we have a new good for wait, poker. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> we have a new good for poker. Yeah. <laughs> He's also uh, mastered the 10 questions about gambling addiction. Yeah, he, he has. He he looks like an older Justin Bieber. Um, 
He actually looks a bit more like an old, like a, like a Zach, like how you might thought Zach Morris would turn out to look. He looks like Niedermeyer from Animal House. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go with good for poker. The guy who was expelled from high school for playing poker. <laughs> that that is straight up good for poker right there. Hold up, Josephy, who makes it 2.2 with King Jack of Spades, takes it down. God, these guys play great, fast. Get the pocket square on Jack F. Hole. <laughs> that's not a pocket square. That's a handkerchief. That's an actual handkerchief. Yeah. yeah. Lavender colored. And in the World Series of Baseball, that that happened tonight too. The Cubs. The Chicago. The Chicago. Live, the Chicago's, the Chicago's live. lived to see another day. Folded two. Mr. Rayo on the button, who opens with tens. Wow. Everybody's picking up monsters Pictures on the big hands. After big hands. Uh, all right, folded to Banger, who looks like he might be shoving with the oh, ace yeah. nine of spades. He's, shove. He's gonna shove. Here. He might be down to six here, folks. This could be it. This should be it. I mean. Like there's no other short stuff. He should. He's gonna get snap called, and oh, he's gonna man. be really unhappy. He's drawn three. Call. This could be it. If uh, if Griffin doesn't hit an ace or spades, oh, many spades, many spades, then uh, we're coming back tomorrow, folks. Or lots of nines. There could be there three could be nines. lots of nines. There could be three nines. Weird straight things that happen too. We could make a wheel. Right? Is that Libbury? Why do you say Libbury with disdain in your voice? I wasn't totally sure if it was there. I don't have any. <laughs> it was, it was I don't have a hate on for it. Kurganov. Yeah, the, Kur- the Kurganov was the tell, in case you weren't sure whether it was. It was Liv, yeah. If Kurganov says then lives there. Well, everybody's everybody's hoping for like a 10 right in the window. How about we deal the cards? Talk about stalling. Yeah, exactly. You, boy, you do. Yeah, dealer yeah. tanking. We got, a, we got a superhero <laughs> mask in, in the Griffin. Ninja Turtle. Veil's, Veil's real, very calm. Yeah, I, I like the stoicism from it coming from Veil. They know a 10's coming. You don't think a 10's coming? No, they know a 10's coming. Oh, 9, 9, 8. Whoa. Sorry, oh, nine, yeah, eight. That was a very confusing flop. It came a lot of... It came a lot of... Uh, a lot of pips. Banger's range. It, it, yeah, it was, it was a lot of tips. Yeah, but, it, but, it's, but it's still a great flop for Veil, really. Like, nine, one eight, of his eight. So Banger flops top bear. It needs a 9 or an ace. <laughs> no, gumbo. there's no zero spades on the flop, so he just needs a nine or an ace. Like Gumby or Gumbo? Taking forever to deal the turn. Yeah. Even though everybody knows what the flop is. They just they're just looking ESPN just wants the reactions. Deuce in the turn. We could be. We are down to five outs for Mr. Griffin Banga. It's kind of mirroring a blue chase season, right? It's kind of right. going deep, <laughs> like you know, Again. things were looking pretty good for a while. They didn't promise and they didn't look good, but their <laughs> their pitching couldn't hold up. Ace or nine comes the river. No, he's not even using his one time. Maybe he used it already. Yeah, yeah he probably uh, used it. Around. He used it way back but, in the but, Counter Strike days. Yeah, <laughs> just Counter Strike one time. You have time to use a one time counter strike. <laughs> behind the corner, you guys got to shoot something. Six That's in the river. Griffin Banger's out in All right. seven. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it, but they're still playing. Oh, really? They're still playing heads. Oh, yeah. so I guess they decided maybe they're playing to the end of a level or something like oh, that. Oh, maybe, yeah. So, all right. We'll hang out here for another, like, ten minutes or so. Something like that. And then, uh, yeah, we're not going to wait for the next elimination, I think. But let's we'll hang out for another ten minutes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this sort of not really live broadcast. We intended to do this live, which would have been way more fun. We would have been able to interact with you guys. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, if you fired up your DVR and wanted to watch this, listen to us instead of yeah. Norman Juan and Phil Helmuth and Negranu. But, uh... Upset. Not the year for the Blue Jays. <laughs> Griffin really had no path. Yeah. Picking up chips, you know, like yeah, there was a hand like with Queen Nine, he could have defended. That's true in the big blind. Yeah. Really disappointing. Um, I don't know that he made a lot of other really tight folds. That I one ace really that suited ace, but he would have been dead because he would have run into yeah. his king. Yeah, that's true. Well, all, in all likelihood, it in all likelihood. Dead. WSOP mobile. Win your w- World Series of Poker bracelets through the mobile app. Imagine the parlay necessary. To winning a World Series bracelet by playing <laughs> play money on W. Oh like so, what is the parlay required? Let's just talk about this for a second. So, so like, get, probably so what they do is like they give away like a ticket to like a three dollar tournament on like WSOB.com or something like that in like, Las Vegas. 
You have to play in Vegas Maybe. if you're going to play WSOP for no, money. No, so like, what's the path? Like, let's say you're some guy and you download WSOP.com Play Money Mobile. Like, what 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 prize do they award for? Like, you probably have to win some seven hundred person tournament to win three dollar ticket. To win like a three dollar ticket to like the real WSOP real money website, and then from like the three dollar one, you, you have to like parlay that several times. You got to parlay that into like somehow again into like the five hundred dollar satellite right. main event or something like. And you gotta win that. Yeah. Or wait, I guess it's just a World Series bracelet. So you could just it's like the Colossus might be your best way to go. Yeah. Like so you gotta you gotta turn your like three dollar ticket into a Colossus ticket, and then you gotta beat like twelve thousand people in the Colossus or whatever the hell it is. It's never happening. <laughs> Ever. Oh, we got different socks on. Yeah, I think uh, even Doug Polk gave up, he gave up on his hundred dollar oh, ten k ten k challenge. Yeah, did he really? <laughs> Pretty sure. How, how quick did he get? So how far did he get? <laughs> he was there for a while. I played for like a week. But what or did something. he get his back spectral? Up to? I don't know if he actually quit or if he's on hiatus. But it's it's not a very consistent challenge. It's like the if challenge. you just kind of give up and <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't like Chris. I mean, for all you know, Chris Ferguson not the most popular dude in the world, but he really he really gave that one a go. Yeah, guy in the superhero costume really disappointed that Griffin Banger did not spike <laughs> a plane in the river. We got some Canadian on Canadian interviewing going on. Kara talking to Griffin. Yeah. Where's Kara from? Can- Canada. Uh, I don't remember exactly. the prairies. I believe. Yeah, I think so too. What's the pilot from the prairies to becoming the World Series of Poker <laughs> commentator? Very long. <laughs> it involves spending a lot of your life in London. <laughs> mm. Oh, it is. Ariad and Tomlin. Just called it right off the dome. Oh. Griffin's also giving the most Canadian interview ever. Wow, yeah, I mean, you think about that. That was a whole blind. series experience. He, yeah. he only won one hand. He, he stole only, the blinds. He won, yeah, he won zero it? flops. He never saw a flop. His win percentage when seeing flop was zero. I mean, how many <laughs> seeing flops Seeing flops was zero. He never saw Did a flop. Did he ever see a, Well, he might have been before we got, before we started oh, right. doing, maybe yeah. he, like, peeled or something, but, um, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Like, to to play four hours of poker in the biggest, in the biggest, like, the most anticipated tournament of your life, and you win one hand out of... Crazy. In four hours out of fifty hands, like that just sucks. Yeah, you gotta feel for the guy. Joseph is the only unpatched guy. Too rich for patches. He's too rich for patches. I don't want to interrupt the theme of his solid blue T-shirt. <laughs> Kenny Hollard folded to him on the button. He raises with the seven four diamonds. Uh, Rizichka has ace queen in the small blind. This would be hand number sixty nine. 69. Giggity. Giggity. <laughs> Rizik just, just calls? I can't imagine he just That would be weird. No, no. three bets. Wow, big three bets, too. Oh, no, because the blinds are up. 6.2. And he's going to give it the obligatory stare down. The Kusef? The Kusef? Yeah. The mini Kusef, and he uh, better falls. Better there. Dealer rocking a headset. Oh, yeah. There aren't any ugly dealers at the final table. No. But they're all good dealers. Doesn't matter. Like, they're not hiring them at looks alone at this point. No. They're, they're definitely hiring them. So you, you do not need a... You gotta hit the good looking... Yeah, good you, you don't want a card. You don't want some, like, missed deals and cards exposed at the final table here. It's safe to, it's safe to say the young lady in the booth is eminently qualified in addition to being very attractive. Josephy folds under the gun. Ruan. So now we're starting to get into some real pay jumps. So it'll be 1.4 million to 6th and 1.9 million to 5th. So at least we're talking about a half million pay jump. Something serious here. Ruan raises uh, UTG plus 1 with the 9, 10 of hearts. He's a Mr. Shoot Connector today. Ruan. Kenny Hallert picks up the 7, 8 hearts. Oh no. Four cards straight flush between them. Kenny is calling. He's moving chips around. Kenny, Kenny, like plays. I think he's play getting fast. too shallow to start playing like this now. I agree. Um, I don't know what he's I, I think flatting is still fine. I think flatting is fine. I think three betting would be bad. So he flats with the seven eight of hearts because he does have the button. I mean, he is still reasonably deep. We're playing what four eight hundred thousand right now. Four eight. 
Yeah, you know, he's still 30 big points deep. I think it's fine. Nguyen he has the queen six off, and for some reason is thinking about it in the big blind. He must squeezing. He's just like I'm bored. I haven't played a hand in a while. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing a lot of watching, so I might just squeeze with the queen six off. I would give the people do this. The like this would be count. terrible. This would. I mean, the the funny thing is, it would probably it would work, work. It, but it would still be terrible. I can't believe he's thinking of calling. He's picked up calling chips. Well, calling would be okay. Now shocking. Now he's okay, picking up three bet chips. Three betting chips is less bad, but still bad. This is this is a straight up boredom three bet. Like, <laughs> this is like I haven't played a hand in a while. Like all these guys have pushed chips around. We've got we've got people busting out. I haven't done anything. I'm bored. I'm just gonna smash. <laughs> he's he's mashing buttons right here. Straight and it's gonna work. Mashing. It's gonna work. Poker's game is skill. Raised it to five point nine. There's a fold, and Kenny is probably going to fold here, I can imagine. Kenny's so pissed right now. He's <laughs> just like, God damn it. They should shove on this guy. Like, he does that big exhale. He's like rolling his eyes. Like, he's just disgusted that he has to fold. Then he put money in the pot again and is folding. And it works. Yeah. Kenny folds. Kill. Look at the shit-eating <laughs> grin. Shit-eating grin. It's a tell. Shit-eating grin. It's a total tell. You, this is the only time you've laughed your head off when you throw it. I don't yeah. think he would play with his chips like that forever if he had aces. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he would. <laughs> Maybe if you go to advancedpokertraining.com, you learn about techniques like this. <laughs> or, you know, marriage boot camp. What to look for six-handed graphic on ESPN. Playable hands increase. <laughs> Big stacks can become huge. First massive pay jump. Water is wet. <laughs> Up is down. Getting chips is better than losing chips. All right, we have Mr. Veo uh, getting some chips together here to raise this pot. He has the ace five of clubs. Actually, I've decided who Gordon Veo most looks like, and it's Vanilla Ice. He's got some Vanilla Ice. I still yeah. think he's Niedermeyer from Adam Lyles. Uh Raises to 1.8 with the ace five. <laughs> Kenny Haller oh, Kenny can't stop play. picking up medium strength, medium strong hands. He's got a King Jack suited here. Behind, he's like, "Fuck me! If I lose this pot again, if I lose this pot, I'm gonna be on Stone Monkey." Till That's now. what I mean. Like he's just, I mean, yeah, I like he's got to play. Like he's got to. This call. one has like, got a call, but man, he's just. It's got to be so frustrating for him right now, because he's just in these spots all the times. Uh oh. I don't think he wins squeezing with this. He's just gonna call. He just squeezed with the queen six off, which is why he's not gonna squeeze with the eights. <laughs> No, I dare you to drop jump in this man's brain and predict it. I told you. You, you didn't right. even think about You're it. You right. just like tossed one chip in there. He calls it the eights. Joseph folds the ace six off. We are to the flop three handed. It's the first three handed pot in a very long time. It is. Nine, ten, four. All hearts. Ooh, that's good for Kenny. Kenny Hollert just flopped the second one. Flops every nice. Nobody else has anything. A little bit more anything. off tilt, but yeah. Uh Wynn has like third pair with no heart. Veo has ace high with no heart. So he has hand, one red card. The hand is a, is basically going to be over whenever Kenny wants it to be over. Yeah. Unless it goes check 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 eight. Yeah, I guess it could go check 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 eight. But the only, check there's only one eight, eight that's not a heart. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be the eight of clubs on the turn. It's the only action card. We got one out two of two with a decent pot here. Oh, and Kenny would have. I mean, check. I guess it could be like an ace of spades or an ace of uh, diamonds on here, and now uh, this hand's over. Because Kenny bet the flop. A little bit? 2.2. Two. Yeah. Kenny's just trying to build the pot a little bit. Win? You stick around? Are you going to lose your Brian? No. Win folds. He does have backers. We know this. <laughs> All right. That's right. Anonymous backers online. Can't, can't mess around too much when you got backers. <laughs> Kenny finally wins a pot. Yeah, it's been what an emotional day for Kenny. It's just been, it's just been. It feels like he's VPIPing like fifty percent. <laughs> it does. The next graphic is Pons Wong and Banger. Sounds like a <laughs> law firm. Of Pons some Wong sort. and Banger <laughs> have been eliminated. Folded. This is hilarious. Folded to uh, Joseph e, who limps and ran snap checks behind him in the big blind. So limp small blind. Snap check, big one. Josephie has the ace deuce off. Ryan with the 9 7. 
The flop comes ace queen ten. This will be hand number top. seventy-two. He's gonna bet the turn. And so the pot. I just I just jumped on Twitter again, and according to the WCP Twitter, it's ESPN's decision to continue playing. Wow. So for all the people who say stuff like it's really annoying that TV affects all these decisions, here's another. Here's here's some more fuel for it. Yeah. But they did say nine down to six, and then they're just deciding to play some more. All right, guys, I think we're going to stop there. Uh, we've, we uh, thought well, we were lied to by, uh, by ESPN, who told us they were going to play down to six. Apparently, according to the WSB Twitter, they said uh, ESPN made the call to play another 90 minutes, and uh, that's what they're doing. I personally don't feel like watching another 90 minutes. <laughs> it's been fun, though. It, has been, like, it, it's, it actually has been fun, like you said. The speed of the, the pace of the it's game has been great. The production values have been good. They haven't had no issues with RFID, but... Uh, I'm getting on a I'm getting on a boat to Pender Island in the Fun. next couple of days. Fun. Um, also, when are we gonna do a show? They have, yeah. They have so internet. tomorrow. So so yeah. Apparently they have internet in Pender Island. We're running water. But uh, tomorrow. So the, tomorrow night we're playing down from six to six three. or five. If they, like they could eliminate yep. another player, they're gonna play down to three players and then come back on Tuesday. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll talk. What, what do you want to do, Adam? For what, what's the plan? Are we going to do a show uh, after the final table? Yeah, concludes? I think that's the way to do. Either Tuesday or Wednesday. I think we should probably. Or do Or we it. could try to do. We could try the live thing again because it'll be on regular TSN. Well, we have some sort of history about getting the winner every year, so I think that's true. We got to try and figure out if we can right. get the winner. So we'll see if we can hit up a show on Wednesday. Or, yeah, and uh, see who gets this thing. Your your call is Rzichka. I got Rzichka. You know Rzichka. I I got a. Uh, I think I still got Bax. I think he's been really quiet, but I think he's just kind of biding his time. He's not forcing anything right on this. Uh, but yeah, or it could be, or it could be your guy, uh, Kui Wen, who you know wins the fashion awards and also and helps wins. us break in into the the much coveted Vietnamese. Yeah, I think he's, he's the Vietnamese not- American demographic that has <laughs> never heard of poker apparently or gambling in general. Yeah, just in general, and, and we could we could we could create a renaissance. Um, I think Kui would probably be the only guy who would wear the bracelet. Oh yeah, he casually. would wear the bracelet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he he would he would wear the bracelet. Like he wouldn't even get it resized yeah. for him. Like he would just let it dangle. Who was your guy, Bayo? Or is he uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with Bayo. Yeah, Bayo. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Willie. We'll talk to you soon.